It is take three. That's right. It's Dundee v Rangers take three, guys. It finally goes ahead tonight at Dens Park. The swamp has been drained. Shrek has been sent packing. Donkey has gone with him. Mrs. Shrek has disappeared too. And it is time for the game to go ahead. Because remember, we all need to know this, that on global warming only affects the blue side of Dundee, not the orange side, because apparently orange reflects global warming. Or so we meant to believe anyway. So Dundee tonight, go head to head with Rangers. Rangers need to win tonight after what was an appalling performance at the weekend against a team that was second from bottom of the league, guys. It was just awful, absolutely appalling. Uh, guys, just can I remind you of this? Uh, remember, please remember to smash the sub and help us hit our 6K mark by the end of the season. Guys, we are about 500 subs short of the 6,000 subscriber mark. Mark, 65% of people who watch videos are not subscribed, guys. If you all subscribe, guess what? We'd smash that target easily. So please hit that sub. Hugh, yes, Kamar Roof does play tonight. Uh, Borussia Munchen Flapjack, what a name. It says, every evening, everyone, let's hope we can bounce back. We need six wins, although I can't see the old guard pulling it off in out of the fire at the gyro dome uh jake crosby says let's do this lineup uh bar that uh, let's do this good lineup bar that muppet goldson glad to see des is not starting he's absolutely shite uh lovely, lovely comment there also bb not bb is fantastic not starting brilliant uh inconvenient truth with some praise for laura there where is the lovely laura these days i mean she is absolutely gorgeous total perfection she's uh looking after her son at the moment buddy uh, but she will be around very very soon son says roof 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 Caleb, evening troops. Sharon, hello. New name in the live chat. Even with Gold, Tav and Goldson, I'm still going to go 3 0 to the Jers. Caleb, roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Let's hope so tonight. Um, come on, come on, Rangers. DL2 Modder says, come on, Rangers. Uh, Dundee Hamilton, we will follow on. Absolutely. DL2 Modder, congratulations. You've been a member for three months. Fabulous. Uh, we have to get three points and stay in the title race. Uh, Caleb with an Israeli flag in his name. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. We stand with Israel here on the Glasgow Rangers Nation. A random Rangers spot says, hi. Uh, come on, Rangers. Absolutely. Gordon Turnbull, how are you doing, buddy? Well, we all knew that Tav, Goldson, Lundstrom, were undroppable. At least Roof instead of Dessers is a positive, but no way Silver should be in the team. We are going to talk team in a minute. We're going to get to team. Malky, evening. Malky, how are you doing? Malky McClellan, come on, Rangers. Caleb says, why can't we play in our home kit, Dundee, uh, why can't we play in our home kit? Dundee do not play in white. I think because it's dark blue and ours is, I think, uh, blue screen, screen, God bless Israel. Uh, we need to turn this around quickly or away if they play in navy. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose we are playing in our kind of away kit. We are playing in the red kit tonight. DL2 Modder says, I'm glad this isn't starting. Happy to have starting. Happy to see Roof starting. Yadar, by the way, says, I'm on the Bears. So let's have a look, shall we, at tonight's team and have a little chat through tonight's team together. Uh, Casey says he's just glad the game is on. That's a good point. Good point. Um, okay, so the team tonight in goal, Jack Butland. Yay! Okay, Lyle Cameron apparently starts, 21 years old, big name in Dundee's football, young football. Arnie, evening, evening. Do Scooby says, come on, Jers, 3 0 will do. So Tav is in at right back. Which we're not surprised, obviously. You know, I do think that Ty, Ty, Tav, sorry, is undroppable. I just can't see him ever being dropped. I really do think in 2030 he'll still be leading the team out. If I'm being wholly honest on this one, um, Caleb says he's his pitch. Yeah, yeah, you're right, buddy. My mum's back garden's a better pitch than that. Uh, Tav, obviously, Goldson and Suter. I don't know what you know. What would have been really interesting for me? What would have been really interesting is if. Um, if Leon Balogun hadn't been ill, would he have forced Goldson out? I think that's a really interesting question to, to discuss and to think about, really. Because for me, Balogun is has been rock solid this season. He's been absolute class this season. Whereas for me, Goldson's just been awful. Absolutely awful. Um, but there we go. Suter at left side, centre-back. Sterling at left wings. So we've got no left-siders on the, uh, the left-hand side of defence. Uh, in the pivot two, we've got Lundstrom and Lawrence. I think, you know, obviously Lundstrom is the sitter, giving Lawrence a bit more uh, freedom to get forward um, and obviously to, you know, to try and create a little bit. But Lawrence has 
been poor last few games. I am a little bit worried about Lawrence, uh, by the way. Um, so then we've got the three behind the striker. Silver left, Seema right, Cantwell in the middle as the 10. I'm glad Cantwell's in the team. I thought Cantwell was one of the few players that had pass marks on Sunday. I thought he, he worked really hard. He fought really hard. He battled. He got stuck in. I thought he was a decent, decent. Uh, Pace would have played Matondo instead of Silva. Yeah, it's a decent shout. Decent shout. Uh, Kevin says, shows the lack of depth when Goldson can't be dropped. Always the bottlers stay fit. Uh, no, even Balogun was about, he would still play Goldson. Probably right, Gordon. Look, I think, you know, you look at the bench and you look at who could have possibly played in Goldson's position. You've got King and that's it. And, you know, Leon hasn't played enough first-team football. And I don't think Philly Clement truly trusts, um, you know, truly trusts what, uh, what what King can bring to the team, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, realistically. I don't I don't know. Uh, it's a great question, Pacer. Uh, but, look... <laughs> See, Seema plays on the right, which is good. He's fast. He's direct. He's probably the only player who's got pace on this team. He's the only player with a bit of something about him, a bit of va va uh, to quote the old Renault advert. But, um, yeah, I think he's quality. Uh, Silver, look, I think it just seems that Silver's going to play no matter what. Uh, thank you, Andre. Um, I think no matter what, he's going to play. I, I just think, given the fact he's on loan, I think there's an element of the fact that they kind of have to play him. Um I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel sorry for Matondo. I think Matondo is, is is a good player. He makes a good point here. How the hell is C Silver worth 35 million beats me? I think part of that's down to the fact that foreign clubs knew at that time they could fleece as much money out of English Premier League clubs as, as they wanted. It really was that simple. Uh, you, you know, but look, Roof up top gives me hope. You know, Roof is the best finisher at the club. He's quality. He's ill, P. Curry. He's ill. Um, so, you know, I do think evening Ziggs, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I do think, you know, that, uh, you know, I do think that realistically, you know, Roof is the best finisher at the club. He really genuinely is. Um, and he is, you know, a quality player. Now, James McFadden on Sky said something really interesting before the game, which Chris Mutton disagreed with him on. Um Roof says, if uh, he said he said about Roof, if one of those two chances on Sunday falls to Roof, he scores at least one of them that Dessers misses. Chris Sutton said, you can't say that. McFadden says, yes, I can, because I think he would have scored. And I have to say, I agree with him. I do think he would have scored. I genuinely do think that he would have scored. Um, Wolves must have a clause in his loan deal that Silver plays every game, or it could be a certain percentage of games, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how the, you know, we don't know how these loan deals work, do we? The bench tonight is uh, McCrory, Dessers, Matondo, Dowell, Davis, Barisic, King, Raskin, and McCausland. So there's some impact off that bench there. You know, I suppose Dessers, look, Dessers, Dessers has always been a player who actually does play better off the bench. You know, when he was at Feyenoord, those goals that he scored in the Conference League pretty much all came off the bench. So, you know, he is slightly more effective there. Abby Matondo, um, I think Rabi Matondo is a player who will bring impact, who will bring speed, who will bring a bit of, you know, a bit of a bit of like ability to run at tired defenders and pull them this way, pull them that way. Um, I do think that that is something that he can do late on. Um, let's see. Uh, we've got Dow. Dow was a you know attacking midfielder again. He can provide impact. Ben Davis, bit of a surprise that he's in the team. We haven't seen Ben for a long, long time. Uh, Barisic. Let's hope we never have to see him again. King. I like Leon King. I think I would have actually given Leon King a chance in defence tonight. I think he's a very good player. Uh, Raskin, what's going on with Nicholas Raskin? Genuinely, what is going on with Raskin? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I think Raskin gets a lot of shit from people. He gets a lot of criticism. Is that entirely fair? No, it's not. I don't think it is. You know, when has he last been, last been match sharp and match fit? When was the last time he had a run of games? You know, I think one thing we need to realise is that... To be truly match fit, you need to play four to six games in a row to get your match fitness and your match sharpness back. And I don't think he has got that, you know, and I don't think that's fair to kind of cast aspersions on him. He played well towards the end of last season. I like Raskin. You know, there we go. Um, McCausland as well will provide some impact off the bench as well, guys. Let's get a few of your comments. Paul says, is it even worth watching this tonight? We're already fucked ourselves. Paul, have belief, man. I was of that. I was, I'm very much like that. But you know what? Six wins and we win the league. Let's think positively. 
Uh, Aldo, come on, Rangers. Hello, Aldo. How you doing, buddy? Uh, evening, boss. How are you? Uh, Kyle's one one two zero says, "How long have we been saying Roop is the best scorer? And never seen it. Seen it. The prick has stolen wages for Rangers. Sick to death of hearing about him." Look, at the end of the day, he's got to just pull it out of the bag tonight. He's got to prove tonight that he is that great finisher that we all think he is. Evening, Joe. Uh, Philip, you sure about Roof? Lol. Uh, we need a positive, solid performance tonight. We do, absolutely. We just need to win. We just need to win tonight. That is the big one for me tonight. We need to go out there and get the, get the three points. Seven Cup Finals, says Caleb. You know, we just need to get out there, get the points, get, the, get away from this hideous pitch and this hideous stadium and just get those points you know we don't have to come here again so that is a that is a massive positive for me that is a you know that that is a huge positive um aldo says roof scoring goals or gets injured what's the odds good <laughs> yeah probably i don't know you probably got shorter odds on him getting injured aldo 352 to win the league and it doesn't look like clemon will change it to plan no plan b says chick uh, Yadar, by the way, says, if you don't think we will win, win the day, then simply don't watch. Annoys me when people say that pish. Smoke says, I, Balogun, is sick of watching this pish. Funny made him sick, buddy. Funny made him sick. Sterling should be right back. Balogun at centre back. Tavern goals and should be dropped. Stuart, I think in an ideal world, yes, but the problem is that Balogun is ill and with Ridvan out injured, I think that's a massive one. If Ridvan was fit, I think it's a different matter. You could possibly make that argument to play Sterling at right back, but you don't want to do that. Chick says, we do have to play. When have we got to play at Dens again, buddy? When have we got to play at Dens again? 20 quid, roof only lasts 20 minutes. If you remember our split fixtures, our split fixtures, these are our split fixtures. St. Mirren away, Killy at home, Celtic away, Dundee at Ibrox, and Hart away. So we haven't got to go to Dens uh, after today, Chick. Uh, obviously, it's a huge statement, one what the gaffer thinks of Dessers and what's at stake. All that's a good... Oh, that's a fabulous point, buddy. It's the only, that's the only, that's, the, that's a brilliant point. You know, what, what message is that giving to Serial Dessers? You know, that I don't trust you, actually. You know, you don't, you let us down last game. I don't know. Or is he just going to put it down to rotation? Probably will. I mean, mate, the only way we're going to win the title now is if something nasty happens at Parkhead. Uh, I would trust Roof hitting the target and putting the ball in the back of the net. The Dessers shot you'll find on the moon. <laughs> uh, no worries, Chick, not a problem, buddy. Ziggs, uh, need a win Sunday. It was stinking solid win is needed. Hearts away on my, is on my birthday. Imagine if we won the SPFL on my birthday. Caleb, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Dessers couldn't hit a cow in the arse with a banjo, says P. Curry. I agree. Dessers will come off the bench and score, says Smoke the draw. You know what? Let, let, let's let's do the count. Let's, let's, let's do it again, shall we? You know what? The, what's the, what is the Glasgow Rangers nation uh, thing? We slag a player off enough, he scores a goal. Okay, so you remember that we slag him off enough, he scores a goal. Uh, don't trust this team can even win three on the bounce, says Kyles. The injury table is being warmed and waiting for Roof. Uh, good line about John Lennon still being alive if Dessers was the shooter. <laughs> yeah, President Kennedy would still be alive if Dessers was the man taking the shot from that box depository tower. Uh, good performance, three points. Hopefully, get to settle the nerves. Absolutely, uh, we lost the UEFA for Lee on my birthday, or Caleb. Bad times, buddy. Sad times. Sad times. Uh, Rabbi going to be important? I think so. Rabbi going to be important for us in the run-in, says Andy. Hopefully. We need consistency there, and we do need consistency. Jack Butland all in white tonight. Uh, Rangers coming out in the grey and orange training tops. Idar, by the way, says, Seema Hattrick honestly think would have been top scorer if he didn't get injured. Mate, he would be. He scored the same number of goals as Dessers in less games, and he's playing from the wing. Uh, how many times has Roof saved us? He can be our saviour if he stays fit. Uh, no, it's all Rangers tonight, but you want you who do you want to win? Man City or Madrid? Man City, mate. I hate Real Madrid with a passion, uh, mainly because I've been to the camp now three times and I, and I have got a soft spot for Barcelona. And because I've got a soft spot for Barcelona, I hate Real Madrid. Uh, 100. That keeper kit is absolutely lovely the old white one yes it, it is nice but it's not very practical is it for being a goalkeeper if you think about the diving around that goes on in a white kit is not very practical what message is he giving to rangers fans that tavern goldson have let us down all season still get picked that's why we have no standards for the back which means two gives me worry you think we need those center backs to get handers uh the full pink kit was horrendous i've always liked the white and orange ones uh both don't care. Talking about Barcelona and Real Madrid. Thank you, uh, Acoustic. 
I mean, I trust Ruth more than Dessa's. Ruth is a Rangers man down to his bones. That's a good point, uh, Paul. He is a Rangers man, isn't he? Hundred percent. Bundesliga, good for uh, but Borussia Dortmund, good for the Bundesliga. Yeah, it is good. They've got through to the semi final to the semi final against PSG. I think it is. Uh, yeah, guys, look tonight. Let's get behind the boys. Let, let's get these three points. Let's get back up the road. Uh, hi, Kevin. Cracks me up. Love the channel. Thank you very much, Aldo. Let's get back down the road or up the road or wherever we're going on a road trip. Let's get on a road trip back to Ibrox with three points tonight. That's all we need. Uh, Philippe says he's got a got a corners net builder, a bet builder for the Champions League tonight. It's worth 3k for a five if it comes in. Share the love, Philippe. Share the love. Enjoy the game, mate. I'm off to watch it with Madar. Have a good one, buddy. Uh, Tav, uh, please, your players tonight stay in position. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, guys, it is game time, guys. Out come the two teams onto what looks a hideous monstrosity of a pitch. Shrek is gone. Uh, so John McCracken in goal. Wouldn't it be great if he was called Phil? Uh, Jordan McGee, Joe Shaughnessy, Ricky Lammy and Owen Dodgson, stealing my name, is their back three, their back four. Three in midfield, Malachi Boateng, Mohamed Silla and Luke McCowan. And their front three is Lyle Cameron, Amadou Bakayoko and Scott Tiffany. Does he think he's alone now? That's the question. Does he think he's alone now? Uh, that'd be interesting. Okay, guys, remember, please, obviously, smash that like. If you're watching here tonight, if you're watching the watch along, please, obviously, get involved in the live chat. And please, obviously, as well, uh, can you smash a like? Uh, that would be fabulous if you could. Uh, please, obviously, as well, help us hit the 6K. Help us hit 6K by season's end. Smash that sub. Thank you. Guys, this is huge tonight. You know, it's absolutely huge. This is an absolute must win. You know, we do not want to give that lot across our city any more reason to laugh at us they've had enough of that uh absolutely rosie how you doing rosie uh tavernier in the tunnel it's fucking depressing says uh, send send the mail back i wonder if i'll be mccracken the jokes tonight it'll be used tonight <laughs> hit the like button thank you very much uh come on the teddy bears Get behind your team. Come on. Evening. Hello, RT72. How are you? Be right back. Thank you, Rosie. Uh, sky is blue. One. Come on, Rangers. No nonsense tonight. Guys, it's massive tonight. It is a must win tonight. Just a huge game. We've got to do this. This is uh, Kamaru's 100th appearance for Rangers. His first start since December 20th, 2023. Oh, we're all good, Rosie. How are you? And Dundee, loads of empty seats again. Can't sell out their tickets. Can't sell their stadium out. How embarrassing. Uh, Paul says, I hope Bayern wins tonight and Kane scores the winner just to see the AFTV guys raging about it. Lol. Yeah, that would be quite funny, wouldn't it? Ziggs the Wolf says, come on, uh, the Rangers. Uh, main thing tonight is three points. Absolutely. Evening all. Evening, Gareth. I mean, oh, I'm good, mate. I'm, my family's good. Thank you very much. My girls are fab. Thank you very much for asking. Three points and down the road. Rangers are going to get things underway tonight in the red, blue and red, kicking from left to right. Dundee in all navy, kicking from right to left. This is it, guys. This is it. No turning back. Six cup finals. Up we go. Lundstrom straight away to Tavernier. Tavernier, long ball forward, looking for Seema. Jumps, wins the header, but it's brought down and hoofed down the pitch uh, by... Uh, Dundee, ball comes straight back at Dundee, headed out. Rangers have got to snap into the tackles. Good tackle there from Cantwell, who now hops away. Hopefully that's not a serious injury. Cantwell's looking, hopping and not looking happy. He's staggering, he's limping as Dundee throw it forward towards Bakayoko. Connor Goldson is labouring a bit, tries to get the tackle on Bakayoko. Bakayoko gets the cross in, over the head, headed away by Sterling. Down, Dundee shoots! Just wide, all because Connor Goldson let the man get the tackle in. We need this today, says Timothy Tarling. We do. Connor Golson, you absolute dick. Letting him get the thing in there. Bad header by Sterling. Shot across the keeper and wide. Dundee should give free buckets and spades for building sandcastles on that pitch. Agreed. Give I'll give Ruth 30 minutes, says the brilliantly named string fellow Hawk. An early chance for Dundee, guys. 103 people watching. Smash the like, guys. Sub to the channel. Help us get to the five, 6K mark ASAP. How... Slow was Goldson, boys towing a caravan. Goldson is dreadful. 
Uh, Seema infield goes to Lundstrom. Lundstrom, I uh, see so Camel. Camel loses the ball and Dundee will bring it away now down the left hand side. One minute 25 gone in this game. Laid back now. Dundee with some possession here early. Getting on the attack. Camel tries to put in the tackle instead. It goes to the left side. Back healer. And, that, and Dundee are in on the left hand side. Tavernier marking up his man. Gets the tackling. Tav actually wins a tackle for a change, but then loses it again. Fortunately, Big Seema is there to win that ball back. And Rangers have it back with Seema, and it's a free kick to Rangers for a foul on Todd Cantwell. We do need an early goal, Gareth. You are a million percent right on that one, buddy. Kimar Roof in short sleeve, showing off his tats tonight as Rangers take a quick free kick. Goals into Suter. Suter out to Dujon Sterling. Uh, I'm that boring smoke. <laughs> Anyway, here's Tav now. Tav locked it down the right-hand side. Pointless ball. Cleared by Dundee again. Bakayoko flicks it on. Dundee have it back with uh, Boateng. Goes to the right-hand side to Lyle Cameron. Dundee having some early possession here. Pinning Rangers back. Down the right-hand side now goes Boateng. Pulls it back to Cameron. Cameron's cross. Deflects off his man. And James Tavernier left-footed clears it. Lunch, uh, Cameron lays it back. And out from the back comes Tom Lawrence. Tackle by the Dundee captain. And it is out for a Rangers throw. Tackle by Shaughnessy. Out for a throw on the right-hand side. Dundee's manager is screaming and yelling. He looks like he looks drunk. He looks like, looks like your drunk uncle that's hung over. He really does. Dundee's manager looks like your drunk uncle that is hung over on Boxing Day. He really does look hung over. Perhaps he is hung over. I don't know. Uh, Suter down the left-hand side. And on, bobbles down the, down the left-hand side to Sterling. Sterling into, into Lunny. Lunny out now to the man there. Spread now by Lundstrom. In the air for Seema. Seema can't get there. It's headed away by Dundee. Seema has to go and try and get, achieve the ball. Does. Backs in. Plays it back to Goldson. Goldson now on his right foot. Will spray the ball forward to for the run of Silver. But it's too much on it. And it's straight through to Phil McCracken in the goal. Who bends Dune and he bends Dune and he fills McCracken and gets the ball. Um, too much on that. Uh, here we go. It's going to be a kick now by Dundee. Uh, Rosie's given that starting 11 the subs. Rosie, thanks for that. Long ball forward now. Dujon Sterling got this covered. Left footed, hoists it down the pitch, but it's straight into touch. And it's a throw into Dundee inside the Rangers half. Rosie hipping you to the subs as well, guys. Thank you, Rosie. Rosie, my star mod. Rosie, have you got your pants on the outside of your skirt or your trousers, whatever you're wearing tonight, or your PJs, depending on what you're wearing tonight? Not that I'm asking you what you're wearing because that's just wrong. Uh, anyway, let's forget that loud of conversation. That was just going the wrong way. Uh, Shaughnessy with the throw in for Dundee and with a very luminous yellow thing. Long throw into the box it goes. Flicked on by Dundee into the, into the arms of Jack Butland and Jack Butland will bring it out. Probably a bit of urgency into this game now. Butland can't see what he's doing. He bowls it out to Lundstrom. Lundstrom brings it forward now towards halfway. Gets his head up. Right footed. Sprays a pass towards towards I think that's, towards Roof. Roof's head up in the air. Headed back by the Dundee player to the Dundee goalkeeper. Rosie is suitably attired. Thank you, Rosie. What happened to Jack? Is he finished at Rangers? Stuart, he's just not fit. He's got another calf injury. So he's got another injury. Look, I love Ryan Jack as much as the next man. Of course I do, you know, in a non-gay way. But I do think that Ryan Jack has come to the end of his time with Rangers. With Rangers. I really genuinely do. I just think, realistically, he, he's just contributing nothing at this moment in time, is he? That's the, that's the big problem. That's the big problem. Um, anyway, here we go. Who's going to buy him? Although he's fucking brutal. Good point. Anyway, here is Roof. Two puts two Dundee players on the pitch on the ground. Well done, him. Here is Sterling. Silver. Sterling. And all the impetus has gone from the attack again. Out wide right, it goes to Tav. Tav chests it down. Goes back inside to Goldson now. Where's Goldson going to go? Lundstrom hoists it forward. Silver takes it on his chest. Tries to go inside of his man. Still has it in the box. Did a bit of keepy-uppy. Manages to find it out to Seema. Seema comes in field into Tavernier. Tav plays it square to Lundstrom. Lundstrom back to Tav again. 
Lots of Dundee players behind the ball. Tav beats one, lofts it to the walls, the back post. Kimaru Pedder is way, 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 way wide. I don't know what you mean. Adverts on here. I do apologise. That's, that's YouTube. I can't control when the adverts come. YouTube take over with adverts. The Dundee player captain is down, holding his knee. He went down untouched. That's never ever a good thing. We need a change of mentality, but we need players with quality. Uh, not your Fahari. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, I don't control the adverts YouTube do, unfortunately. And guys, because I don't charge for the content I hear on this channel, the only way to make money other than your super chats and super stickers and your memberships is basically through the uh, through the adverts. Um, it's this pitch, isn't it? Look, isn't it? It's kind of I don't I hate to say see players get injured, but one thing you've got to say is it's this pitch. It's the pitch, guys. It's the Pitch. Whoa, as my, my camera dies. Where's my camera gone? Crazy. Hi, I'm back. What happened there? Well, hey, camera suicide. My camera uh, committed suicide. I don't know why. There we go. It's better. That's a bit better, actually. Uh, we always, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure as he's walking off, so I think he might be back on. I don't think it was as serious as always as it thought it was going to be. Anyway, where's the ball? Let's get on with this. Cabby, hey, buddy, how you doing? Paul, you all right, man? Good to see you. Tony Doherty, who is the Dundee manager, is having a little yow and a bit of a, I don't know what he's up to, but he's up to something. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. He's getting a substitute ready, an early substitution for Dundee. Well, Dundee, your pitch has screwed you over. Head away by Tav into midfield to Seema. Seema tries to turn but can't. Now he does get his head up and turn, but he turns back instead into Tom Lawrence. Man on Tom, man on. Tom gets away for the I'm shouting man on. He can't hear me. Evening, Andy. How you doing? How you doing? Tom Lawrence infield to John Lundstrom. Lundstrom with a pass out to the left hand side to find Dujon Sterling. Sterling on his right foot on the left. Comes in field again now. Checks in field. Loft the cross in deep and far too deep. And it is straight out for a Dundee goal kick. Poor delivery from Dujon Sterling. The problem is that he's, he's always going to be, he's going to cut on his right foot. And because he's cutting on his right foot, the cross was is not great. Delivery there is, is always going to be an issue. There's no left footers on this pitch at the moment for Rangers. Not that I want to see Borna Barisic. Alan says, if Rosie was in Rangers, Basque and Stockings, that's your problem, Owen. She's concentrating on the game. Alan, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Mate, I'm a single man. Single man. Happily single. Happily a single man. Okay? That's it. End of story. Can't be asked with it anymore. Been divorced two years. And I'm staying a single man. Single for everybody. Single forever. Anyway, here we go. Dundee coming forward now. Bakayoko lays it back. Good interception by Todd Cantwell. Looking for the pass to Seema to get Seema on his bike down the right. Seema running forward down the right. Shows a little bit too much shots. Saved by McCracken. Not Mike. You know what I mean. Good save. Good run by Seema, though. Power, pace, and getting them. Working the keeper. Working Phil McCracken. Seema runs from his own half, so he's not offside. Gets his, gets his head up. Shot. He was pushed as he shot, actually. Surely that could be a VAR review for a penalty. Anyway, here we go again now. Dundee coming forward. Dundee player hits the deck ball long and forward for Kimar Roof to chase. Dundee player clears it up in the air, hoofs it left footed. Off the back of James Tavernier and out for a Dundee throw inside the Rangers half. Good for you, Owen. Thanks, buddy. Women, eh? Rosie, I'm not including you in any of those comments. Hi, Ale Hi it's Alistair Missouri. Absolutely. Well, I must win, uh, Alistair. I'm taking it. Mary's your mum. Mary's your wife, not your mum. That's just weird. Anyway, throwing on the left hand side for Dundee. A long ball into the right hand back slot. Controlled well there. Off John Suter's arm. They shout for handball. Silver's on the run. Silver pass one, pass two. Nearly pass three, but a tackle. But the ball breaks out to the left where Tom Lawrence picks it up now. Hi from Greece. Hey, how you doing? 
Back by Lawrence, intercepted by Dundee, and the move breaks down, and Dundee come forward. Bakayoko is suited for his back, laid back to the right-hand side. Long ball forward, off uh, Sterling. Good battling by Suter. Sterling gets it back. Uh, I can't say your name because I don't read Greek. I have betted on Rangers to win. What do you think? Well, let's hope. We hope so, buddy. We hope so. Tav, long ball forward by Dundee, controlled by Tavernier. Tavernier with a little pass square to Suter, inviting Suter to carry the ball forward. Don't give it. That's a good little ball forward. Silver gives him straight back, though. Suter again trying to break the lines of his passing. Camera lays it off for Silver to chase. Tackle by the Dundee right back, and it is out for a throw in to Rangers on the left hand side. Uh, 12 minutes gone, buddy. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Thank you, Rosie. I need to work out how to get a clock on here. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, it's outside the box. It's outside the box. The handball review against Suter. VAR review is over. Referee says play on. Nothing doing. Ball out to the right-hand side. That is the issue. Anything that hits the hand these days, everyone's... Anyway, Seema tries to create some space for himself. A little ball in, and it gets stuck in McCracken in the box. Yeah, anything that hits the hand these days is going to be appealed for. That's the issue, isn't it, I suppose, at the end of the day. Guys, come on, let's get this. Uh, get, get the chats going. Let's have a, so get the views going as well. Let's get the views up. Spread the word, guys. Oh, do you think Lawrence is fully fit? He doesn't seem to be the same player anymore. Good question. I don't know. Maybe he's fatigued as well. He's not used to playing this number of games. Lundstrom into Seema. Seema now. Shot into McCracken's arms. Uh -huh. I've got short arms and long pockets. I do this stuff myself. Arnie, low maintenance, simple things in life. Materialism is toxic. Rosie, what a lovely attitude. What a lovely attitude, Rosie. That's good. That's a good attitude to have, Rosie. However, Mr. Rosie is. He's a very lucky Mr. Rosie. Head away, head away there by Suter. Ball breaks out. Sterling goes after it. Left foot, it sends it down the line. Flicked on by Ruth, particularly nobody. And turned back by Dundee to McCracken. I wonder if he's got a brother called Phil. I don't know. Anyway, how's the left hand side? Absolutely, absolutely they have Gareth. 100% they have, buddy. Thank you, Rosie. You know, I think, you know, if Danilo had stayed fit all season, he'd have scored a lot of those chances that Dessas had missed and we wouldn't have lost the games that we perhaps would have lost. I genuinely think that. I honestly think if Danilo stays fit, he I know he misses chances, but he doesn't miss as many as Dessas. Thrown by Dundee into the bottom corner, uh, over goes Goldson to mark up now. Laid back it goes. Dundee player puts Lawrence on his arse. Cross into the box, flicked off the head of Suter. Out wide, cross back in by Dundee. Shot! And it's pushed wide by... By Butland. Thank you, DL Mot2 Mudder. Rob Lawrence is fit, fit enough to be here next season. Interesting, interesting. Bit of a poor shot there, and Butland can't get over it. It sort of cannons underneath Butland and it's out for a corner to Dundee. Always dangerous. 133 people watching. Please smash that like. Dundee have scored 11 corners from goals this season, the most of any teams this season. Apparently, Rangers have scored seven from corners. I don't remember any of them. Dundee with a little short corner routine going on here and an awful cross. And it is now a goal kick to Rangers. Guys, it's still 1-0. 15, uh, sorry, 0-0. Nil -nil, 15 minutes gone in this game. And there we go, Suter now, out wide to Goldson. Goldson now brings the ball forward, lays it out to the right to James Tavernier. Tavernier inside to Lawrence. Lawrence, it breaks for Lunny. Lunny flicks it out towards Silva. Silva flicks it inside. Seema on his that big chest but can't control it. And Dundee will smuggle it away for Bakayoko to chase, putting Goldson under pressure. Goldson gets the boot on the ball back to Butland. Butland with a difficult one, manages to get it back out to Goldson. Good control from Goldson. Then he loses it a bit. Fortunately, Lundstrom's there to pick up the pieces. And Tavernier brings it out. Kumbolo passes it back again. To be fair, we have done well to be considering the start we had. I mean, the league, yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, but you don't want to lose to Celtic, do you? You don't want to lose to that lot from across the city. You really don't. 129 people watching, guys. Can you please obviously smash the like? And if you've not yet subscribed, let's get our subscriber numbers up tonight, guys. 
Uh, it is there with Suter. Suter checks it back to Lunny. Uh, where's this ball going now? Lunny out wide left. It goes to Todd Cantwell. Cantwell back inside to Lunny. Lunny with a little lofted pass to Seaman on his chest. Seaman out. Tries to cross. Blocked cross. Corner Rangers. Corner to Rangers. Can we do something with a corner for a change? Would be good, wouldn't it? Would be good. Would be good if we could. Corner, which will be taken by... No prizes for guessing who's taking the corner, by the way. It's going to be an outswinger from James Tavernier. What a surprise, guys. Tav's taken the corner in a true year 11 style. Tav, right-footed, into the box it goes. Header by Seema. It goes wide, well, it goes out and not anywhere near the goal in the, in the middle, in the middle, in the middle, the middle whatever. Uh, Rosie, are you queen of stats? I thought you said, do you know what? I actually read that as rats, first of all. Now I've maybe reread it as stats. Uh -huh. Rosie is the queen of stats. Rosie, you should come on the podcast as, as the queen of stats and we can like feature you as a little queen of stats in the corner. Rosie's stat minute. That's a good idea, I think. Rosie, what are you doing? What are you doing tonight? Not that I'm asking you out. I'm just saying what you're doing tonight. Uh, Lundstrom is stalling on contract talks and he's playing like this. Adios, John. Absolutely. Apparently, he wants three years, 30 grand a week, which he's not worth. He ain't worth it. He ain't worth it. Uh, board on the left hand side and there's an out for a throw in. Would you sign Alexander Lind, what, the forward or the guy who sang in The Greatest Showman? Well, that was somebody else, Lind, wasn't it? Or was it Lund? I can't remember what her name was. Yeah, he's a decent player. I, I haven't looked at his stats. I, I haven't really looked strength. I haven't really looked into his stats. I did a bit of a feature video on him in January. But I haven't looked into his second half, how he's performed since January, if he's played since January. So I do need to look into that, buddy. Yeah, he's a four. I know he's a forward, but I don't know. Uh, Aaron, you're a single. Leave Rosie alone. I'm leaving Rosie alone. Uh, Law baking, making cookies and cakes for my boys' lunch tomorrow. Oh, bless her. The good, good wife is Rosie. Anyway, lovely ball. It's a ball out to the right by Dundee now. It's for Boateng to chase. Boateng goes in there. Good play by Sterling to read that. And he clears it down the line. But only as far as... The Dundee player, it comes back to Boateng on the right, with Sterling at his back, he flicks it through his legs, but Silva is back to cover and hoofs the ball up the pitch, headed down by Dundee. Roof, who hasn't seen a lot of the ball. Hopefully two, Ziggs, hopefully that goal is coming, hopefully not for them. Anyway, Sterling now with the ball, battling for it in the left-hand, left-back slot, fighting, battling, surely fouled. Surely he's foul. The referee says no. How's that not a foul, ref? How is that not a foul? My dad's a baker. Oh, wow, cool. 26 appearances, 10 goal, 3 assists. That's not bad. That's 1 in 2. That's pretty decent, string fellow. I have to catch some of his highlights. And Rosie, I've seen some of your videos, actually, Rosie. They're quite good. Cameron brought down the edge of the area by Lundstrom. Free kick in a dangerous position to Dundee. On the stories of Bakers, I've got a really sad story on that, on, on, on the story of Bakers. And when this free kicks are passed up, I'll tell you the really sad story about baking. Okay. Kevin, that's that's genuinely dreadful. That is a genuinely... that Ke Kevin, are you a dad by any chance? Because that is a proper dad joke. Proper dad joke. <laughs> I know some pretty disgusting jokes, but none that I'd repeat on here. Jack Butland shouting, at the, shouting now. Dundee with his free kick in a very dangerous position, right on the edge of Rangers half, inside the D, outside the Rangers box. Huge Rangers wall lined up in the centre of the goal. Jack Butland directly behind the wall. Where's this going to go? Shot. Butland, great save. Follow up, great save. But Dundee score, but he's offside. Bakayoko offside. Two great saves by Jack Butland. Free kick. Great save. Follow up shot. Great save, Butland. And Boateng is offside. Oh, sorry, Bakayoko is offside, or is he? I don't know if he's offside or not. Is this going under a VAR review? He would, Stringfellow, he would. 
It is a VAR review. A VAR review of this goal. Paul wants to know the name of your channel, Rosie. Offside. VAR review concludes offside. Thank God for that. Dundee get the ball in the net, but it's disallowed. But it's two cracking saves by Butland. But again, no Rangers player alive to it. No Rangers player following it in to clear it again. Butland saves our bacon again twice. You know, Dundee player who takes the second shot really should score. But Jesus Christ. Yes, it is, Rosie. Of course it is. Drop your channel, Rosie. Drop your channel. Stuart says, waking up your clowns. Two great, was two great saves. Butland saving the bacon again. He was saving the bacon, Rosie. Throwing to Dundee on the right-hand side, guys. It is lucky. It's not a great start. Dundee are playing pretty good so far. It isn't sounding good, Gareth. Aldo, if we play like this, we will do. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's Rosie's channel, guys. If you want to check out Rosie's channel, check out Rosie's channel after the stream, of course, and subscribe. If all 134 of you are watching, go across and subscribe to Rosie's channel. Please do. Let's get Rosie to 1,000 subs. Up in the air, Butland takes it. Safe hands from Jack Butland. Jim, Bre Jim Brown says, Dan, you must calm down before you have a heart attack. Who's Dan? Anyway, I don't know. Inside, it goes now. Dundee coming forward. Well done, Cabby. Shite defence. Dundee still with this ball. Dundee having a lot of possession early on here. The ball down the outside of Goldson. Bakayoko goes in pursuit. Does Goldson foul him? Ref says no goal kick. It's okay, Rosie, but there we go. Rosie, we support our people on this channel. One of the things I'll always do, guys, is no matter how big this channel gets, and my ambition is to make this channel one of the biggest Rangers channels out there. You know, I'd love to get up to the size of CJ Novo one day. Probably never happened, but I'd love that to happen because CJ is fantastic and I'm not. But look, I will always support small channels. I'll always back up small channels. I'll always get behind guys who want support. I'll always invite people on who want support, who want to build their channel up, guys. I'm not snobby. I don't, I, I don't, you know, just believe that it's about promoting me, my product. It's about, pro, pro, to me, it's about promoting all Rangers podcasts. Some Rangers podcasts I know don't feel that way. Hence why I'm probably the most hideous, the hated man in Rangers YouTube. Am I supposed to be watching Champions? GTA Legend HD says, come on, Rangers. Absolutely balling now. Silver, shot by Silver, blocked by Dundee. Seema. On the edge of the area, turns it back inside. Tav can't control it, but then does. Out to Seema again on the right side. Lines his man up. Plays it, tries to play a little clever ball around him. Loses it, then fouls his man. Free kick Dundee. Poor play. Poor play. We look absolutely rattled already. Get your fingers out, Rangers. CJ Nova is brilliant. He's very fair and open and honest with his comments. Says Paul Logan. Yeah, I love CJ Nova. He's one of the few channels I do still watch. Um, the number of channels that I am watching is slowly declining. I do have to say that. Got a big up heart and hand, though. You know, heart and hand, loads of people from heart and hand have come on the channel. Uh, Caroline, Marina, uh, David, uh, Grant. There's loads of people who've come on. Um, you know, and CJ. Yeah, CJ is wonderful. Um, headed back by Goldstone to Butland. Saturday, the 11th of May, 12.30 kickoff is Celtic Rangers live on Sky. 25 minutes gone, still no goals. Golton over halfway now. Someone move. Cantwell comes to the right, but it goes inside to Lundstrom. Lundstrom feeds it square to Suter. Suter stands still with the ball. He goes back to Lundstrom. It's going backwards again. Lundstrom lofts the ball into the box. Cantwell still running, can't get there. Goal kick, Rangers. Uh, sorry, Dundee. It is having Sunday vibes. It's not good football so far. Poor football. Poor football so far. Uh, we had a shot in goal yet? Yeah, we did. We had a couple, I think. Seema had that one saved, didn't he? Um, get some stats. 
I'm sure Rosie, the stats lady, will get some stats in soon. Um, what have we got? Rangers versus versus Dundee. Let's have a look. Ball is breaking down in midfield. Tavernier's got it. It is. We've had two shots on target. Three shots, two on target, buddy. Seema had one, didn't he? Back against Sterling. Lundstrom. Lundstrom, right-footed. Guys, I've done a 10-hour shift today. I've been looking forward to this all day. Come on. Oh, God. Roof's injured. Roof's injured. Kamar Roof is down. Injured. Um, absolutely, Philippe. You're 100% spot on with that. Oh, Roof's back on his feet, thank God. I bet the manager's heart was in his mouth there when he saw Roof go down. Free kick outside the box. Guess who's there? Yes, it's James Tavernier. 337. If you're watching, guys, please obviously smash that sub, smash that like, guys, and obviously help the channel to keep on growing. Referees having a word with the Dundee manager. Don't know what about, but about something. Saying your pitch is a joke, mate. He's got sand all over it. It looks horrible. Roof's agent shot his pants. <laughs> he did, didn't he? He had one of those. He got we had one of those, but they got rid of Cholak. That's a good call. That's a good call. Roof is still playing. He's looping. He's limping though. Roof is talking to Tav about something. Gone, fuck, my ankle hurts. <laughs> Tav stands over the ball like a rugby kicker, takes one, two, three, four steps back, stands, looks at the ball, looks at the goal as if painting a target. Tav up, down, saved by McCracken and wide. Pushed wide by McCracken, not my Kraken, the McCracken in goal. Over the wall, was probably going just wide, actually. Good save there by uh, McCracken to get the ball out for a Rangers corner, which no doubt Tav, yes, Tav is taking. Why can no one else take corners for us? I don't understand that. Why can, you know, why can't we, you know, let Canwell take a corner or someone else have a go? Ball across there. Header. Saved by the keeper. Header by Goldson. Saved by McCracken. Uh, Kyle says, this is shocking once again. Honestly, don't blame that pitch. We are shit. On Rangers rumours, I read that Roof was going to retire at the end of the season. That's an interesting one. I suppose, you know, there's only so much you want to put your body through, isn't there? Here goes Sterling on the run. He's shoved to the ground by the Dundee player, and it is a free kick to Rangers just over halfway in the Dundee half. Yeah, I mean, that is a possibility, isn't it? I mean, let's face it. There comes a point in time when there's only so much you want to put your body through and so many injuries you want to take, and you've got to think about the future. Um, you know, I think, you know, to kind of... Protect your body and protect your protect your well-being for the future, isn't it? I think, you know, it's a free kick. I don't know what's going on. The referee's doing something. The ball's out. There's something wrong with the ball, apparently. Goldson was on target. Yes, he was. A header on target. Ball came in. Goldson was a free header. But it was straight at the goalkeeper, to be fair. Either side of the keeper, and it's nestling in the back of the net, was straight at the goalkeeper. 149 watching, guys. Please obviously smash that like. Help us to keep the video growing. And obviously as well, if you haven't yet subscribed, as it says at the bottom of the screen as it scrolls along. Referee is now talking to one of the Dundee officials about something. I don't know what he's talking to him about. He's not happy about the balls around the stadium. Why keep Roof and let Sakala, Arfield and Cholak go? Good point. I would have kept Scotty. I really would have kept Scotty. I would have kept the Scotty Arfield. Scotty Arfield. Here's Goldson now with the ball forward into Roof. Roof is on fire. Lundstrom kind of miscontrols, has to go back. Lundstrom, what the fuck was that? Seriously, man. Butland's come to get it. 
That was a shocking ball from John Lundstrom. I've got to say I agree 100% with that all, though. Ball out to the right. Seema brings it under control. Seema now lines his man up. Can he get round? A little ball round to Tav. Tav gets inside his man. Ball across. Blocked by the Dundee player. And out for yet another Rangers uh, corner. The ball's a water line. <laughs> Sterling is a sturdy lad, Joe. He's massive. He's a big, big lad. And Tav will take another corner on the right-hand side. Suter's up. Goldson's up. There's 146 watching. Smash the like. Come on for a Rangers goal. And smash the sub for a Rangers goal. Here we go. Tav into the box. It goes. Header by Dundee. And it is out for another corner. Good question, we are out there. <laughs> possibly, possibly. Get on Amazon, get some, get some, or any other good shopping thing and get it, you know. Tav, anyway, the ball is the box now. Deep, headed by Goldson. Say, blocked by the goalkeeper. Sterling goes in, Asima goes in there. And the Dundee player will bring it away. Tav takes the man out, Cantwell. Shot from Cantwell is wide of the goal. It's a free kick to Dundee. For Tav taking out their player. It was slightly wide, Rosie, if I'm being honest. 32 minutes gone. Tav totally takes his man out. Well done, Tav. Mind you, it's not as bad as the player's making it out to be. He's gone that old in his face. Uh, Dundee are putting the sprinklers on at half time to water the swamp. <laughs> uh, poor Keed, I think I'll hide behind the couch, says, <laughs> says uh, Aldo. Me too, Aldo. Although, how I can do a live stream like that, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. There we go. Gail, how you doing? Good to have Gail on board. Evening, Owen. Evening, Gail. How are you? Guys, if you've never watched the channel before, say hello in the live chat. If you know me and you're watching this, say hello in the live chat. A lot of Rangers legends like Jorg Alberts, Brian Loudrup must be at this. Yeah, absolutely. Rangers bottlers. 100%. 152. Oh, Ruth nearly blocks the keeper. Ball is out. McCracken says he's a foul. Referee says, get up, you fanny. And we get on with this. Celtic will make a statement and pump us, sadly. Thank you very much, Rosie. Do what Rosie says. Smash the likes and smash the subs. Smash like Rosie. Uh, grew up in the 90s. Bloody spoiled with quality. Yeah, although we were. I, mean, I obviously started in 86, 87, all this. I was, yeah, spoiled with the Sooners years. And the years when we were actually, you know, thinking about winning a European Cup as well. I mean, the move breaks down again and Dundee will break again. Unfortunately, a bit of bad control by their left-sided player. And it ball down the left-hand side by Dundee for Bakayoko to chase. Connor Goldson heads it up in the air. Bakayoko flicks it on a little bit and goes after it. Suter's there. Cantwell now in across the box, just outside the area, outside the, the centre circle. Brings Sterling into the game. Older, there's some names, buddy. There's some names from the past. Loud, Gaza, Alberts, McCann, Negri, and Wallace. Wow. That's a serious, serious team, buddy. Even if, for, I don't, I, you know, that team would probably do, but those seven players probably give this team a game. I'll tell you that. Uh, if any, we could replace them all there with players that know how to win games. Have with the sit the fuck down. Yeah, that block on him, Jordy, was pretty mad. Love and Krantz and Alberts, Rosie. What fantastic names. Peter Huistra. Love Dick Advocat. Rosie loved Dick Advocat. And I'm leaving that. I just thought of a really inappropriate joke there, but I stopped doing it. I'm not going to be rude. Um, there we go. Anyway, Dundee have a free kick inside the Rangers half, just about, what, about 15, 20 yards, 15 yards away from the edge of the Rangers box. And it somehow just completely, I was looking down for a minute and it's just gone completely wrong and it's out for a Rangers throw. Not quite sure how that one happened. RFC 72 says, Older, oh, I'm the same mate, would say 99% of the fans have no hope for a result. Here's Lundstrom now, plays it to the right hand side, bringing Tav forward. Tav bursts forward now, then stops his run. Checks inside, Cantwell. Little ball around the corner from Cantwell for Roof. Roof was surely blocked off there, and the referee says no. Lundstrom chests it down to Tavernier. Tavernier back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom goes left now to Sterling. Sterling now, what will he do with it? Will he come inside? Will he go outside? Silver goes outside for him. Run through the middle from Lawrence. Lawrence on the run. 
but nothing happening there again as Dundee bring it away again. Mark Walters, wow, that's a name. Haitley and McCoy's, what a strike force. Absolutely, Timothy, amazing. My dad is a Rangers fan. I remember going to a Legends game when I was young. That was a fantastic memory, Rosie, fantastic memory. Uh, my son keeps asking me about Rangers in my day, and boy, how I only wish my son could see that quality again breaks my heart. Yeah, you know, it is, it is, isn't it? When you think back, you know, you think back to those days, Aldo, of Loudrup and Gaza, and just like, wow, seriously? And I remember the players on tenants cans. Yeah, absolutely. That's a blast from the past, Rosie. Mark Walters, what a player that with that wee shuffle. He was. Walters was a fantastic player who was disgustedly treated by Celtic fans and Aberdeen fans. Anyway, here we go, guys. It is a free kick to Dundee. They've got the game back underway. I don't know how it was a free kick to them, but for some reason, they got a free kick. Don't know why. Someone, I don't know. Past the ref fell. Sorry for them. I don't know. That's a good shout, Aldo. That's a cracking shout. None of this lot would get into Martin Smith's team. I don't think they would, buddy. Ball back, Sterling Gate goes back to Butland. Butland left-footed, launches it down the field towards Kimar Roof. Roof backs in, tries to control it, bounces off him and just breaks to Silla in midfield who turns it forward towards Boateng. Breaks off Sterling. Lundstrom gets attacking in. Cantwell now on the left-hand side has it. Dallies on it a little bit. Plays it back. And there is John Suter who will bring this forward. Seema going over the top. Is he offside? Ref, ref says no. Swung over by Seema. Header out by Dundee. And it will be a corner to Rangers. Yes, it will. And Tab is going out to take this corner. It is 37 minutes, 37, 55, 57, 58, 59, 38 minutes up now. Seven minutes plus stoppage time in this first half. Uh, Richard Goff used to say the team that drinks together wins together. Happy days. Ball into the box. Header up. Breaks down. Off Seema. Seema tries to shoot. Can't get there. Blocked away by McCowan. Up in the air. McCowan crashes to the turf. And the referee gives a free kick. And McCowan is down holding his face again. For God's sake, get up, you fanny. Let's have a look. What happened here? He hardly touches his face and he goes down like he's been shot. I mean, that's disgusting. Yeah, they are. They are. John Hanna, how you doing? My favourite Rangers teams the late 70s when trebles were common and Big Jock had them well drilled. Happy days. I don't remember that. I was born in 78, so I don't really remember that. Yes, guys. Two guys are the best. Two guys are legend. Yeah, I was born in 78, so I am 46. I know you don't believe me. I, don't look, I know I look about 26, but yeah, I am 46. No comebacks. On that one, ball bounces up, up, header breaks down, free kick offside, somewhat anyway. I don't know. Rangers free kick at the back. Who cares? It's our free kick. Tav takes it now to Suter. Lundstrom. Here we go now. It's back with it's back with Lawrence now. Lawrence bringing it forward for Rangers. Checks it back inside to Suter on halfway. Suter, nowhere to go. So lifts the pass out to the right. Connor Golton gets after it. Connor's up into the into the Dundee half. He plays the ball forward, looking for the run of Tav. Tav controls it, flicks it back inside to nobody. And it's cleared by Dundee down the park. Lundstrom's header flicked off his head. John Suter was there to cover. Lunny picks it back up again. Here's Seema. Seema, good boards, ball in, blocked. A Dundee player, and away it comes again. Good tackle. Snaps into that. Dujon Sterling, who is now out of position, has to get back into the left back slot as it breaks down. And the Dundee player falls over again. Oh, my God. Seriously. <laughs> that's funny anyway here's a free kick to Dundee hoisted forward and the player slips as he takes it quite comical that so now shit this pitch is hello dog my dog's just come into the room uh, Ruth 
you're a Bambi Owen. I live through John Greg in charge. <laughs> My dad was in the lodge, always went to his meetings every Friday with his briefcase, secret handshake. Hugh says, I said, said that five minutes ago. Clemon not happy about the fact the ball's broken out. It's a Dundee uh, throwing again. Philippe Clemon is having a proper yell. Not happy about something. Ball forward. Ruth heads it. Lundstrom plays it forward for Cameron to chase. Cameron on his bike gets after it. Tries to win it. The Dundee player goes down. Referee says nothing doing as Dundee clear their lines yet again. It goes up as far as Goldson. Now Tav inside to Cantwell. Cantwell. Cantwell goes on a little run forward. Then have to check back to Tav. Tav stops it, moves it back inside, and the ball goes back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom crabs across the pitch now. Where's he going? Passed it sideways to Suter. Suter is up now. Passes it out to the left to Sterling. Sterling wants to go left, wants to go on his right foot, but Dundee blocking him off from that. So he lays it back. Inside of Lundstrom. Lundstrom into Lawrence now. Forgot Lawrence was even on the pitch. Cantwell now. Here's Silva. Silva to Lawrence yet again. Not much happening. Dundee defending in numbers. Little space for Rangers to work. No width on the left-hand side. Because both the players are right-footed and they want to come inside. Lawrence checks back onto his left foot, then his right foot inside, lays it into Silva. Silva tries to work in no space, lays it out. Invite it. thought Sterling was going to make the run outside. Sterling didn't, delayed it, stop, and the ball just goes straight out for a uh, goal kick to Dundee. Uh, got a photo of my dad and uncle with Gaza and McCoy during one of those infamous nights out in Glasgow. Always ask about it, and is a well told story for what they can remember of it. Lol. <laughs> Doubt Gazza and McCoy's can remember anything of it, to be honest with you, buddy. Um, we need a cutting edge. We do need a cutting edge. We're lacking a cutting edge. It's coming up for 44 minutes gone, guys. 44 minutes gone in this game. Stuart, don't say about that second one. Hugh, I think he's got three, maybe. Another free kick to do. <laughs> yeah, he's getting that way, Timothy. Another free kick. Tom Lawrence has just been told one, two, three. He's been told a count now. Next time, Lawrence might be going in the book. David, not well at all. Dundee have had the better of the game. They've played the better football. We've generated a few shots on target. We have not played well at all. It's been slow, ponderous, no width on the left, No, not a great deal of width on the right. Not being good, Dave. It's not being good, buddy. I hope he does win the right act. Sterling now with this ball. What's he going to do with it? Throw down the line? Yes, just inside it goes to Silva. Here we go. Comes forward now. Slowly suited, making his way towards halfway. Picks a bit of speed now. Guys, 182 watching, please smash the like and smash the sub if you haven't yet subbed to the channel. Help us get to our target of 6,000 subs by the end of the season, guys. Um, out he goes to Silvers on the right now. He checks back again. Just David, that bad. Awful ball forward by Lawrence. Move breaks down again. Goldson now. Goldson checks away. Stops and plays it back to Suter. Suter. Go on, answer Gareth's question. What changes you make? Born into the box. Seamus header up in the air, breaks down now. Lawrence comes for it. Tav goes for it. They were kind of bang, bang into each other, and Dundee clear it up towards halfway again. And Goldson runs to retrieve the ball. It's going to be a throw in to Rangers on the right hand side. And Dodgson is down in the box, holding his head because every Dundee player, every time he goes down, holds his face or his head because he knows if he holds his face or his head, the referee will feel sorry for him and have to stop the game. Hardly touched him again. Hardly touched him again. And down he goes.
Anyway, here comes Goldson forward, hoists the ball forward. Roof jumps. And it just goes straight off. What, what's the point of that ball? Roof is not a fucking target, man. Roof is not a target, man. So why are we hoisting the ball in the air towards Roof? What is the point of that? How are you going to get the best out of Kamar Roof playing the long ball game to him? The guy is not six foot six. He is not a target, man. Why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Why are we hoisting it for? That's ridiculous. Absolute waste of a ball from Connor Goldson. 196 people watching, guys. Please smash that like and obviously subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. Roof turns, gives it away. It's out for a Dundee throw on the right-hand side, just inside the Dundee half. It is desperate, Arnie. It is desperate. Don't think anyone on this team is captain material. Probably Butland, though, if anyone. I agree. We could do with signing a captain. There's certainly not um, the captain, you know, that we've had in the past, the Barry Fergusons of this world, the Terry Butchers of this world. He is here. He is quite quiet tonight. Let's throw it to Dundee on the right-hand side. Which McGee will take. It'll throw it inside to Bucket Boateng, whose layback is awful. It's out. Five minutes of added time. There will be five minutes of added time. Matthew says Cortez injury ended us. Interesting. Interesting. I, speak, you know, I think if we had Seymour wide right, Cortez wide left. Can you imagine that? Danilo up front, Cantwell in 10 roll. We'll have a lot more threats going forward. Off the Dundee player. Silva quickly wants to take his throwing. Gets on with it. Takes the throwing inside. John Lundstrom. Fucking pointless ball, but it, it somehow makes its way through to Todd Cameron on the left-hand side. Cameron with two men on him. Go comes inside one. Lit, chips a little ball into the box. Poor cross from Cameron and headed away by Dundee. So Cameron chases back after it. Gets the ball back off his off his manager. Throws it to Lundstrom. Lundstrom back to Suter. Suter, what will he do with this ball now? Stops. Passes inside to Lundstrom. And Lundstrom goes backwards. Lundstrom, turn round. Lawrence. Infield comes Lawrence, snaps it back to Goldson. Goldson forward to Lundstrom. Lundstrom out wide right, it goes to Tavernier. Tavernier back to Lundstrom. What a familiar pattern. Lundstrom back to Goldson. Can we stop pissing around with the ball? At the back. Silva comes off his man now, forward, lays it back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom plays it wide right to Tav. Tav. Chips it for the run of Silver. Silver, good control, but back to nobody. And the move breaks down. Now it's going to be Lawrence. Lawrence on the run. Lawrence still going. Lawrence shot. Blocked by the Dundee player. And it is out for a goal. Is that a goal kick? Or is that a corner? What happened there? So Lawrence goes past one man, past two men. Inside another shoots, just miles wide. Just a shit shot, actually, by T Tom Lawrence. It is a goal kick, Rosie. 49 minutes. We're coming to the end. I mean, the last 30 seconds of the five minutes added on for stoppages. Still Dundee nil, Rangers nil. It's been poor. It has been a very poor game to this point. Not a good performance by Rangers at all. Dundee, probably the better of the two teams, if I'm going to be wholly honest with you on this one. Long ball up into halfway now. Header down by Boateng. Gets it back. Plays it forward. Little flick around the corner by Bakayoko. And the man is offside again. Still nil-nil. And we are into the 50th minute now. And there is the half-time whistle. Philippe Clement does not look a happy man. Alex Ray does not look a happy man. The Rangers staff do not look happy at all. Philippe Clement is saying something to Alex Ray. He does not look happy. He looks like he is going to give someone an absolute arse kicking at half time. He does not look happy at all with that first half performance from Rangers. Uh, not a great performance, if I'm being wholly honest with you. It has not been a good performance. It has been poor. It's been slow. It's been ponderous. A lot of backwards passing, a lot of sideways passing, not a lot of forward momentum. A couple of chances. The seamer shot that was saved, but you know, the tab free kick that was pushed wide that was probably going wide anyway. So there's not been a great deal of opportunity here for Rangers to get in the lead because Rangers players not merited it. And I think that's the problem. Again, it's been slow. Again, it's been ponderous. Again, it hasn't been good enough. Again, it's just not been good at all, really. You know, the players have not shown a desire, a fight, 
The other issue is when the ball goes out wide left, they automatically know it's coming back inside because we haven't got a left footer. So it's not been good at all. Not been good at all. Stuart, Stuart says, oh, my comments have gone blank. Stuart says in the live chat, um, I've seen better midfielders playing in championship than our midfield. Uh, they're putting 11 men behind the ball. Ball has to come on the sides. And that's the thing. They are putting the men behind the ball, but they know they can get away with it because of the fact that they know that we haven't got any width on the left. And because we haven't got any width on the left, we're having to come in field all the time because both Silver and Boateng are right footed. So they're coming in on their right foot. Uh, not Boateng, uh, Silver and Sterling, sorry, are both coming in on their right foot constantly. So that means automatically it shuts down the angle, which automatically means it doesn't work. Guys, it's not been clever this first half. Not been clever at all. Um, Gail says, I have MS and I could play better. Phil has his hands tied. He, know, he knows we know it. Same old Dross. We're too slow, says Gordon. Midfield defence are too slow. Uh, guys, I'm going to watching this. Quickly, quickly take a break, go and grab a drink, and I'll be back very shortly for the second half. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has not been a great uh, first half at all by Rangers. A really just another poor performance uh, from the boys. It really just has not been up to the standards we would expect of a Rangers team. Just not great. I mean, Seema had that chance early on when he's clean through on goal. He's on a run there. He is pushed as he hits the shot and McCracken makes a good save. But hey, we should be doing better than this. Aldo says, we expect too much for this team. But let's be honest, we're not the same quality players we used to have. We need serious money to build a great team. 
we don't have. Yeah, that is the worry that there isn't enough money there for us to build this team back up again. Dundee are all over us. Mind has gone in these fucking duds. Not Rangers players in a million years, says Callum. We're too pedestrian, no legs in midfield. Pretty good shout. We can't play in the wind or if this pitch is in the bowling green. Silver, isn't in a, Silver never in a million words, worth 34 million, maybe 34 pound. Uh, we need to win the league then. Our players are cowards. I think Curry's referencing the amount of money that we need. Uh, Trey says, what do you mean? This is exactly the performance I was expecting. Fair enough, Trey. You'd be rather watching paint dry, says Janet. Yes, yeah, so we're trying to make it at least a little bit entertaining here on the channel tonight. Guys, I don't know what to say. It's just not been great at all. It has not been good enough in the slightest from Rangers yet again. I would love to be a fly on the wall in that changing room to, un to hear what Philippe Clermont has to say to them. Genuinely would love to know. I hate to say it, but if we don't score in the second half, I can see what's going to happen. I've seen it too many times. My stomach feels sick, says Philippe. Brian says, my God, that was so poor. We need a big push honking. Uh, Curry says... Bet your death just comes on at half time. Uh, whatever happens, I will die. Fucking blue nose. Anyway, says Aldo, as will we all, buddy. As will we all. Uh, no imagination. If we lose, this red top's got to have got to be fucking binned. They don't want to win if they don't want win a title. Uh, Rangers TV showing the Clyde Bottlers. Ghost play, nil-nil. Yes, it is nil-nil, buddy. Nil-nil. At half time, no goals. Not a lot of great chances. What's the what's the bet we get hit with a sucker punch, says Philippe? Get Cantwell off, plus put Silver in the 10 with Matondo out wide. That's an interesting shout from William. What change would you make? Trey, what would I make? I'd bring Matondo on for Silver for definite. I would... What else would I do? I'd take Lawrence off and bring Raskin on, just to try and liven it up a little bit. Hopefully, please. It's Ben McMahon. How are you doing, buddy? New name in the live chat. And now I can't bring your comment. Yes, you can. We are playing shite, man. We are holding on till that Motherwell game. So, till that Motherwell game, says Aldo. Uh, Camel's overrated, says Stringfellow Hawk. We'll finish 2-0 Rangers, said David. I wish, wish, wish we could. I would change all of them if I could, says Janet. Kyle says, get Sterling into midfield. Kyle, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that, buddy? Please tell me how we're going to do that. Because that means you bring Borna Barisic on at half time. Do you really want to see Borna Barisic in a Rangers shirt again? Interesting. Ben's not a fan of Raskin. Uh, okay, guys. So 177 people watching, guys. Please obviously smash the like, smash the sub. We are currently at, let's have a look at our sub numbers at this moment in time. We are currently at 5,462 subs. So we are 538 away from hitting 6K by the season's end. It's still possible, Dave. It is still possible for Rangers to win the league. It's still possible for us to hit 6K subs by the end of the season. Davies can play left back. He can, but the problem I suppose with Davies is how much fit is he? He's hardly played any games recently. That's the only issue, I suppose, there with that one. What did that say? Oh, finer. Do you know what? You know when you're half listening to something and you don't actually hear what they're saying? Yeah, Lawrence is pulling a car. He pretty much is pulling a car. Yeah, you know when you're half listening to something and you're not really listening, right? Well, uh, there was a Lynx advert on telly, and it said "smell finer" with this thinks with this Lynx spray. I honestly thought it said "smell fenian." <laughs> I honestly thought it said "smell fenian" with this spray. I thought, who would want to smell fenian? That's a disgusting smell. Who would want to smell like a fenian? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah, that sad story about baking that I never told. I hope not, though, Owen. You can never tell with this current team we have. Does Tav deserve to be a legend at this club? Thank him for his service. But three trophies in 12 years is not enough. I agree. But actually, yeah, the sad story. So here's the sad story, guys. My grandfather, on my dad's dad, he's a, was a baker, right? He was a baker. He worked for co-op bakeries. And when co-op bakeries finished, he decided that he would found his own business. Now, one of the things... One of the guys who he worked with um, offered him a partnership in his business. And my grandpa turned it down um, and went into business for himself. Now, my grandpa's business went bust. The man who offered him the partnership was a man called Harry Gregg. For those of you who don't know, Harry Gregg 
is the guy who founded Greg's Bakeries. Greg's, as in the high street store Greg's, as in the sausage rolls and the steak bakes. And my granddad turned down, grandpa turned down a partnership with Greg's. I could have been a multi-millionaire now. Sad story, guys. Sad story. Thanks for the sympathy, by the way. Ah, dear. We need something. We do need something. We need to do something. Something needs to turn. Something needs to change. God knows what's going to happen or change. Uh, yeah, he did. I suppose we didn't know at that stage uh, that, uh, that, the, that, the, that Greg's would become such a huge name that it is in this day and age. But yeah, if you're going to partnership with Harry Gregg, I could have owned half of Greg's. Sad story, guys. Sad, but true. Sad, but true. Uh, latest scores in the uh, Champions League. Bayern nil, Arsenal nil in Munich. Man City nil, Real Madrid one. Astrid Wett will be creaming her pants for that one. Gets a double. That's still a game episode. Still the same story with Beefy Kepake. Guys, the amount of flipping notifications I get on my phone is ridiculous. Crazy. Okay, let's have a look what's happening. Chinese Grand Prix qualifying. Who cares? Yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Rangers way support is huge as per usual. The boys are there. Half of them look pissed. I'm surprised. I'd get pissed, I think, if I was going to Dundee. Couple of uh, attractive ladies in the crowd. Dessus comes on and we're food, says Blue Horizon, Ziggs the Wolf. 210 people watching, guys. Please smash the like. And if you haven't subscribed, guys, hit the sub. Let's get as close to 4,000, uh, say 5,500 tonight as we can. I feel for the fans as well, Alder, having to watch that crap in the first half live in the cold. And my fact, it's not happening about how cold it is in Dundee tonight, but. Oh, anyone know any good jokes whilst we're waiting? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Janet makes a great point. Yeah, she does, uh, with Gareth. Far too slow way they're passing. Need to speed up a bit in the second half. We do. Robert Binney. Hey, Robert, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, why can't we change the set piece taken? Nothing coming from any we've had. That's a brilliant point, buddy. That's a brilliant point. Uh, no, live is tomorrow night, buddy. The live, the podcast is tomorrow night, 8.35 with me and hopefully Laura and hopefully hopefully Damien tomorrow. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Harsh Gamer says, Rangers no goals in this match. Yes or no? Any tell? It's nil-nil Harsh Gamer. You can see on the screen what the score is. <laughs> Happy? That is random. Fucking funny. Who picks up guide dog show? That's a good question. <laughs> what a question. Uh, Todd for a goal tonight. Uh, what do you get if you mix human a um, DNA with goat DNA? I don't know, Gareth. What do you get, buddy? Uh, what was the script with under-inflated balls? Seen it all now. Uh, same here. Although three times traveling to that shithole to watch Dross need to get it together. What do you call a guy with rubber toes and Roberto? Ha, ha, ha. I scribbled hate, cr hate crime on the old Clyde side bus in 1980. Fiends are all puffs. <laughs> Uh, Matt says, did everyone bring their swimming trunks to Dens? Roof is still on, guys. Roof is still on. Dundee underinflated the balls on purpose. Do you remember that in the NFL, Deflate Gate? Do you remember Deflate Gate when the Patriots cheated? The Patriots cheated. Tom Brady, the cheat, who's now involved with Birmingham City rather than. Have you pressed a lot? Rosie, that's a beautiful question. Todd Cantwell looks like he's about to cry. He's having a chat with Kamar Roof. Roof's saying something. Tom Lawrence is having a good chew on something. Tab's got a flea or something because he's having a scratch like a dog. Jack Butland is just jogging around, looking to kind of keep warm. And here come Dundee out of the... Looks like out of a... I don't know, like out of an office. I mean, it just seems like they're emerging out of an office at Dens Park. I don't, I, it just It is random. It's not like a tunnel. It's more like an office. I don't know what the hell. And they've got to come downstairs to get onto the pitch. Huge 45 minutes in the title race. Massive 45 minutes in a title race that is a title race that's not a title race that could be a title race that still is a title race, but perhaps might not be a title race. Who knows? Come on, Rangers. Get your... 
fingers out you a bunch of whatever's. Just change the shirts at half time just for a laugh. See you after the game, Janet. I'll see you later. Anyway, here we go. Come on, let's get on with it. Don't need to get us back underway. Let's get this into them. Let's get into them, boys. Steve, um, what do you call an actress with yellow fingers? Go on, Curry. Honey. Lol. Oh, dear me. How many Spanish guys does it take to change a, a, a light bulb? Just one. Sorry, I'll get my coat. Nice one, Blue James John. <laughs> Uh, do we have to own? I don't know, buddy. So, I don't know. Come on. Let's do this. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Flicked on by Kimar Roof. Here's Silver off on the run. Stops. Checks back. Gives it back to Sterling. Sterling. Left footed pass. Back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom. Back to Suter. Oh, fuck. Going backwards. Suter. Lundstrom. Lundstrom. Back to Goldson. Boys, goal is that way. It's that way. The goal's that way. Okay? Goldson into Roof. Roof holds his man off. Turns. Still man still on him. Lays it to Sterling. Bad pass. Cut out by Dundee. Sterling fights to get the ball back. Big Todd takes after it. He can't get there. Outpaced by is that Cameron on the left-hand side. He's on the run. Over it with company is Goldson. Goldson gets the tackle in via Cantwell. Ball away now. Dinked up there. Flicked on, off the Dundee player, out for a throw in Rangers. Someone said if Dessas fell out of a boat, he couldn't hit the water. Liam, how you doing? My daughter used to go out with a boy called Liam. He was a right prat. Ah, dear. Anyway, here we go. 166 watching, guys. Please obviously smash the like and sub to the channel. Anyway, down this side goes Boateng, delays his run, stops. Gold Suter is across. She Shepherds it out. Good, strong defending from John Suter. As strong as a ball. Mr. Soapy Suter. Anyway, Butler plays it out now. Connor Goldson manages to fuck up, not controlling, and has to scramble after it. Gets it, sends it long. Flicked on by Seaman. Roof is shoved in the back on halfway. Goes down. Free kick, Rangers. Still nil nil. 47 minutes, two minutes into this half. Blue Nurse says, did you hear about the Spanish fireman who had twin boys? He called them Jose and Jose... Oh, Jesus, Jose B. Funny, funny, funny. John, get your coat, mate. Get your coat. You haven't pulled, but you've got your coat, right? <laughs> anyway, here's Goldson now. Bring it out from the back. Sutar. Sutar. Cabby, that is genuinely very, very bad. Right, Silva. Come on, Rangers. Come on. Let's not be the joke at the end of the, the night. Lundstrom, have back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom miscontrols, stop, passes it forward now to Tav. Go to Silver, Silver on the right, Silver goes past his man. Doesn't goes down, but obviously nothing doing because it's Silver. We all know Silver now has a reputation for diving, so he's not going to get anything. He's out for Dundee on the left-hand side. The ball comes into Bakayoko. He turns, he passes it back. Good hassling by Cantwell. And, oh, referee, that's not... How is that a free kick for that one up there? wasn't. Seriously. Referee, come on. Every time we touch them, they fall over. And every time the referee buys it. Every time. Tony Doherty, the uh, Dundee manager doing his very best rab scene. There's a bit impersonation on the sideline. Anyway, the board is out there. Take a shot every time Rangers play a long ball apart. Liam would all be apoplectic by the end of the game if he did that. Liam, you're not the Liam that I know, are you? Or are you? Down goes Boateng. Away by Silva. Roof gets on his bike to chase it, but the ball's going to come straight back at Rangers. Instead, they go all the way back to Phil McCracken. That's fine, Liam. Good to have you here, buddy. Good to have you here. Ball forward. It goes now. Dundee player went in there, went down. Referee says nothing doing, and he's now limping very heavily. I'm not quite sure what went on there. Weird. Goldson now to suit to Lindstrom. Lindstrom brings it forward, lays it into midfield. 
Roof tries to turn and he's brought down again by Dundee. Foul by Dundee. And the Dundee player throws the ball away. Tab forward towards Lawrence. Lawrence on the run. Lawrence in behind now. Lays across the goal. Nobody there. Cleared behind. Ball in. Lovely little ball in by Tab. Lawrence makes the run. Little and that doesn't it done. Lawrence doesn't give it up. Pulls it back. No one there. And cleared out. Tab now with an in-swinger from the right-hand side. They are play-acting a lot. In swinging corner, right. bang it right on top of the goalkeeper. Get it on top of the keeper now. Tab in swinging corner, away by Dundee. Canwell ball over his shoulder, turns, gets back after it. Canwell lays it back to Lunny. Lunny now will send it forward long. Header infield by Lawrence out. Suter Silva Cantwell Cantwell now can he make something? Jinx on his right foot. Cantwell shoots blocked. By Dundee, three men in front of him, header into the box by Suter, away by McCowan, up to halfway, Goldson turns and will flick it back out wide right towards his teammate, Tav. Come on, the Jers, PC, get Silver off the park and get Matondo zipping down that left-hand side. We are the people. We are the people! Lundstrom out wide right, it goes to Seema. Seema now, where can he go? Cantwell, Seema. Little interchange from those two. Cross into the box from Seema. Header away by Dundee. And John Lundstrom gets on his bike and chases after it. John Lundstrom now turns. John Lundstrom on a, going on a, on a fantastic run, but it's backwards. I don't know why he's winning backwards. John, that is genuinely dreadful. And he goes back to Butland again. To Lundstrom. Lundstrom now jogs forward towards halfway. Little ball out to the right to Seema. Seema around the corner to Tav. Tav to Cantwell, back to Tav again. Tav back to Goldson. Cross to Suter. Sterling comes in on his right foot. Plays it inside to Tav. Back to Sterling. Sterling, little ball in, clever ball in. No one makes the run though, and it goes straight through to the goalkeeper. My poor late mother fell for Phil McCracken. Phone call questionnaire. Had to fill her in on the joke. <laughs> Let's see, climate change doesn't stop the game. Kieran Dow is warming up. Sterling down the left-hand side. Doesn't get, can he get there? Does. Wins the ball. Holds it in the corner. Trying to find a way out. Off the Dundee player. Back it goes to Suter. Suter left footed forward. Cantwell tries to win that ball off the Dundee player. And it is out for another Free uh, goal uh, throw-in. Lundstrom takes the throw-in quick and it's all the way back to Butland. Butland plays it out to Goldson. Tries to get the move movement forward. Rangers need to get forward now. Play the ball forward. Come on, boys. Goldson steps up. Still going. Still going. Lays it into Roof. Roof back to Goldson again. Goldson out to Seema. Where's he going to go? Inside to Cantwell. Cantwell away from his man. Into Tav now. Tav running across the goal. Shoots. Blocked. Solid wall of Navy. Cantwell shoots. Blocked. And Dundee will clear up the field. McCowan. Bakayoko now. Up on his own. Two Rangers defenders for company. Bakayoko. Loses the ball to Suter. Good tackle, John Suter. Tav gets it back. Plays up to Lawrence now. Lawrence. Where's he going with it? Steps inside. Steps outside. Another one. Goes to ground. Referee says free kick Rangers. Just over the centre circle. Kicked away by the Dundee player again, but again, there's no booking. I don't know why, because we seem to be allowed to play as kick the ball away as much as we want. Seema. Seema tries to go past his man with a, with a really predictable move, then fouls the player, and it's a free kick. Jesus, Seema, that was thick. That's the sort of thing you see kids do on the playground, knock it past his man and try and run, pa run faster than him. Scrappy-doo. Who remembers Scrappy-dappy? It is a hard watch, Arnie. I'm trying to make it entertaining here. It's bloody hard work. Matondo is getting instructions. Matondo is getting instructions. Philip Clemens going, come on. Oh, allez-y. Mais enfants. Long ball forward by McCracken. 
Goals up against Bakayoko. Wins the header. Forward it goes. Roof backs into his man and gets nothing. Roof's had absolutely no service tonight. No even a sniff. And Cantwell is fouled or fouls somebody or ref. The linesman just doesn't like his hair. I don't know what it is, but it's a free kick to Dundee. It is turgid. It is absolutely awful. You know what? I had a 10-hour shift today. It was more exciting than this. It wasn't, but I'm just saying. Oh, fuck. Civil Dessers is coming on. Dessers is coming on. Dowell's coming on. And Matondo is coming on. Oh, my God. Dessers is coming on. NASA, prepare to chase down some balls. Uh, Liam says, is the surface that pitch that bad? They're first to playing long balls at the park. John, I think it's a triple substitution, buddy. So the changes, let's hope so, God soldier for truth. Let's hope so. So changes are Dessas, Dowell and Matondo on, Roof off, Silver off, Cantwell off. Interesting. Interesting. I, I don't get that one. Is he going to move Lawrence into the 10 roll or is he going to put Dowell into the 10 roll? Interesting. Uh, put the kids out after tonight and get the preseason planned ASAP, says Bomber Brown. We need a win, says Curry. Early subs is a shout. Something needs to give. The tops, this, that's the top. I don't like. Proper cut doesn't like the top. This is goes there. Ball away. Tav backs, 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 backs. Tries to head. Bakayoko wins the header. It's off the Dundee player now for a Rangers throw on the right side. Tav tries to quickly take it. Steals about six and a half miles. Long throw down the line. Flicked up in the air by, De by Dessers. Ball away. It seems like Dowell's gone into the 10 roll, I think, has he? Yes, Dowell's gone into the 10 roll. Lawrence is still back in the two. And Dow seems to be further forward. So it looks like Dow is playing in the 10 roll. What did you say, Liam? A draw is not acceptable at this stage of the season. You get a draw, you might as well declare Celtic the champions. True. For fuck's sake, someone in the Rangers team bloody run at the Dundee defence. Give us a sheer piece of football. Brilliant. Agreed. Should have taken Lawrence off. I agree. I think you should have left Campbell on. Took Lawrence off. Campbell at least was running around trying to shoot. I don't think that, that was the right sub to make, if I'm being honest. Lawrence has been poor again. Mon Rabi sticking in the onion bag. Son says, Curry, yeah, if we do with a Rabi goal, couldn't we? Could do one of those Rabi cuttings from the left and smash it in the top corner. Cameron, back it goes. Away by Lawrence, straight into touch, and it's a throw in to Dundee. We've got 57 minutes on the clock. It's still not. Yeah, it is, but it's not, is it, really? Because it just gives them more just remember troops these these got to these players got to european final let that sink in rangers have had 12 shots only three on target 67 percent possession to rangers 33 percent possession to dundee lunny flicks it on now matondo comes in field loses possession straight away to dundee and dundee are coming forward now down the right bakayoko is on the right he's shifting in field to mccowan good tackle by dowell matondo good control there sterling out and back it goes to Suter. Anyway, here comes Goldson now, over halfway. Ball, searching ball. What the fuck was that? What? Connor Goldson, what the fuck was that? Seriously. Just smashes the ball miles up the pitch to nobody. Have I ever been on the ribble? Do you mean the rabble string, fellow? The answer to that is no, the rabble don't like me. Uh, starting to doubt, bro. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Throw into Dundee, right bottom. Come on, Rangers. Pin them in. Pin them in. Pin them in. Matondo header. Dowell header. Bets it back now. Tries to find Matondo down the right hand side, left hand side. Matondo tries to run it. Gets it back. Cuts it back. Blocked away by Dundee. McCowan now turns and brings it away. And the referee's blown up for something. Not quite sure what. No heart so far. RFC says, feel like turning this off and putting on the soaps. Better entertainment than this pish. Uh, Liam says, at this point, I'm pretty sure this is a social experiment, like something you'd see in four black experiment. It's not great, Liam. I don't know what it is. 
200 people watching guys if you're not yet subscribed to the channel help us to get to our target of 6k subs by the end of the season guys smash the sub and if you're not and if he does look well pissed off john doesn't he really pissed off um if you haven't yet to subscribe please subscribe if you haven't hit the like hit the like buy a minute one nil up Dessa's backs into his man rather than control the ball. Then he loses the ball to McCowan. It breaks to Dowell. Dowell is brought down. Referee says nothing doing. And then it's a free kick eventually to Rangers, but nothing doing very much. Here's Lawrence. Dowell. Seema. Cross in. Blocked. It is a corner to Rangers. Loads of empty seats in the Dundee end. Arsenal always choke uh, Rosie and Ziggs. Don't worry about it. It is a corner kick to Rangers, which will be taken by... Come on, we're going to play a guess. Who's taking it? Guess who's taking the corner from the right? Is it having an in-swing with the left foot of Dow, for example? No, it's Dow. Seventh corner kick. Can we do anything with the seventh corner kick? Seventh corner kick. In by Tav. Clicked on by Matondo. To nobody. Then Lawrence wins it. Lawrence now. Shot. Blocked by McCracken. Lawrence goes for it again. Away by Dundee. And it's a throw into Rangers in the corner. Yeah. Bayern are winning 1-0, I think. Yes, they are winning 1-0. Who scored the goal? Joshua Kimmich after six minutes. Throw in to Rangers. Real Madrid still winning 1 0 against Man City. There's a VAR review ongoing at the moment. Nothing doing again, and we're off. Here's Lundstrom now. Great. Quest. Great, 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 great. That is a good point, Aldo. That's why we need to win the league, buddy, because if we don't win the league, we don't get the Champions League money. I know some people don't, don't want to get in the Champions League because they don't want to be embarrassed, but the money... Dundee ball again. Hope so, Squire. I hope so. So... Dundee making two changes now. On come two Dundee players. One that looks like my ex-brother-in-law. That's great. And one that looks like a, just an ugly person from Dundee, really. Oh, by the way, do you know what? I got called racist the other day. I'm, apparently I'm racist because I said Hatate is ugly. Hatate or Hatar, whatever he's called, that Celtic player, is ugly. Because I called him ugly, apparently I'm racist. At no point did I reference his, where he's from or any of his... Physical features, I just said he's ugly. And yet I'm a racist. I don't understand that. Weird. So Costello and... Uh, who's that? Sorry. Costello and Maine are on. Tiffany and Bakayoko are off. When Rangers get corner kick, they give the ball back to the keeper because we cannot do fuck all the corner kicks tomorrow as well. Yeah, I agree with this point, Aldo. Not buying a striker in January has come back to haunt us. 100% it has. 100%. If we'd signed Shankland or we'd signed Miofsky or someone like that, I even got Bashwai on loan, we'd have won the league. We would have won the league. Uh, it's frustrating we didn't sign a striker because losing out on the UCL money means we are continually stuck with the second-rate players on a Bosman or lower English leagues. True. Just prove set piece to waste of time. Andy McClare says, I'm no oil painting. I never pretended to be an oil painting. I never said I was good-looking. I just said Hatate is ugly. Hatate is one of the ugliest men on planet Earth. He really genuinely is. Golson nearly screwed up again. Golson plays it long towards halfway. Flicked on by Seema. Dessa's backed into his man again. Loses the ball, though. Dundee header away now. Into heart, into midfield. Lundstrom jumps. Cameron up in the air. It's going to be a throw into Rangers on the right-hand side. Yelling and shouting. Dessa's back. It goes to Lawrence. Lawrence long ball forward. Straight through to the keeper. Nothing doing. 
ugly is a person's perception yeah absolutely okay the orcs came at you arnie uh it is a person's perception exactly it's not racism it's just a person's perception long ball forward now and out it goes for a rangers throw on the left hand side <laughs> what did send the mail back actually say i know i didn't read that comment not a lot happening mccowan up to halfway again well read by suitor suitor brings it out plays it up Dets has hold it up tries to gives the ball away again main it goes out now dundee have it back Dets is running around a lot ball goes back to mccracken mccracken gets his boot after it yeah i agree with you blade runner duncan not buying an out and out number nine in january has come out to haunt us also not buying new defensive players will come back to haunt us. Great point. Great point. And it goes to penalties. <laughs> I wish. I wish, Liam. Mind you, we'll probably still miss all those. Long ball oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Hannah Goldson, stop doing that. Because every time you do it, it either goes to the goalkeeper or straight out, you twat. Philip Clemon does not look happy. Alicia, because it's not a cup tie, it's a league game. <laughs> And we don't live in America. Oh, dear. Goal kick to Rangers. It's not a cup game, exactly. Oh, Jesus. I'm losing the will to live. And I've got to go to work at 6am in the morning. And this is what I'm treated to, Rangers. Thanks. Guess I can watch the game back and I can fall asleep, I suppose. No one is taking ownership of this game at all. No one has tried got, got their foot on the ball and just just run the game. No one's just gone at anybody. No one's just done something out of the ordinary. They've just been dull. Oh, ball there. Just gets through to Matondo, thank God. Matondo now stops. He's got two men on him. Back to Sterling. Sterling, back to Matondo. Matondo goes on the dribble now. Two men on him. Beats two players, but can't beat the third. And it's cleared by Dundee. Matt Tall says it, it's not like USA soccer. They do the whole no draw garbage. Yeah, it's not. What is it they say in America, Matt? They say a tie is like kissing your sister. Apparently, a draw is like kissing your sister. <laughs> Love that, Curry. Love that. And here come Dundee away. Left hand side, poor pass, thank God. Telegraph straight to Tavernier. Me too, John. Given away again by Rangers. Bakayoko. Back it goes to Dundee again. Now Boateng. Boateng. Back it goes to Portello. They know what it's like to kiss their sister. What, the Americans? Uh, Southern states of America, yeah, they do, apparently. There's a joke about that, um, but I can't tell it on here because I'd get in trouble. <laughs> anyway, Boateng now for Dundee. Lays it out wide right. Player unmarked all the time in the world. Into the box. Header away by, who's that? Seema is that back defending. In comes McCowan. McCowan will shoot. Blocked by Suter. Tavernier. Lays it out now to Seema. Back to Tavernier again. I agree with that, Gareth. That's a good line. Here's Sterling. Long ball forward by Sterling. Up towards Dessers. Dessers. I'm not even going to comment on that. I'm just genuinely not even going to comment on that. I genuinely just, just, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Basibo, Basiru Bar supporters, Abid Alassima from Senegal. Welcome. Bienvenue. Absolutely. 100%. Ross McCausland is readying now. 
Yeah, from 233. Watching, guys, smash the like. If not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Tav reads the ball well, plays it forward, but gives it away to the Dundee player. Again, Dundee player plays it straight out into touch. Again, it's just dire. I'm dying. Oh. If this is a draw or a loss, any positive Tav will learn for it from the hundredth time. Yeah, we can play Tav Bingo after if he gets interviewed, can't we? Again, we can play Tav Bingo. Tav Bingo. We Ross to save the day. Okay, we Ross. Ball out goes out now to Steamer. Steamer stops it, gets back inside his man, flicks it back to Tav. Tav lays it in field. It goes off. Dowell, Dowell can't get there, loses the ball, and Dundee will bring it away again. Poor pass out by Dundee. Cameron, good tackle by Tom Lawrence. Wins the ball. Tom Lawrence plays it forward to Tavernier. Tavernier held up in the corner now, so checks back. Goes back to Dowell. Dowell, Lundstrom, Lawrence, Goldson. Very quiet in the ground. Very quiet. Lundstrom, out wide left. It goes to Matondo. Tondo goes into Sterling. Sterling gives the ball away. McCowan back to Cameron. Yeah, we will learn from this. We're very really disappointed. It's disappointing. We can play Tav Bingo, obviously. Well read there by Connor Goldson. And it comes out now to Lawrence. Lawrence lofted ball forward to nobody in particular and Dundee clear it. It was meant for Dessers, but didn't get anywhere near. Matondo now, away from one. Can't get away from the second man who picks the ball up there. That's Cameron, and he lays it out wide right. And forward come Dundee with McGee now. Costello, out left-footed. Well read by Tav, header forward. Control by Dundee again. As soon as we get there, just give it away. Get there, give it away. Get there, give it away. 1-1 one, one Man City now. Ball forward. Off Boateng. Goldson has it now. Goldson passes it forward to Lawrence. Lawrence to Dessers. Dessers. Dessers on the run. Dessers shot. Good save by McCracken. Tips it over the bar. And it is a corner to Rangers. Let Dan the man entertain the Tims if we don't win Owen. Keep the breath. Take a breath instead. Who's Dan the man? Who is Dan the Man? Who is this Dan the Man we speak of? Corner for Rangers. James Tavernier. Tavernier sends it in there. And it gets cleared again. Come Dundee forward yet again. Still nothing happening, guys. They'll be dull. Lol. Lol. Don't say his name first. Blade Runners. I like that comment from Blade Runner there. Oh, I can't remember there. Here's Boateng. Out wide right, it goes to Dundee again. Into the box, deep. Header away by Tav. It's a Dundee corner. We need someone to just step up and grab the game. Go, fuck this. I'm now. I'm having this absolutely. 100%, guys. 238 watching, guys. Please smash that like and subscribe to the channel. Here we go, guys. It's another opportunity, another corner for Dundee. 73 minutes on the clock. 17, just about well, 16 minutes now left as it goes to 74. Absolutely, Stuart. Absolutely. It is a corner to Dundee. Left footed into the box. Away by Dowell. And off after the ball goes Lawrence. Can't get there. Played out by Dundee. And it's a throw into Rangers on the left hand side. Oh, him. Oh, well, you know. It's him, is him. If you can choose what you want to watch, you want to watch him, you want to watch him. That's fine. Even though this is better. 
There we go. Anyway, here we go. Come on then. Let's get this on. Come on, Rangers. Do something with the ball. Sterling. And long ball forward down by Sterling away. Oh, God. And in goes Dowell and out. It's a throw into Dundee on the right hand side. Don't matter because we ain't getting nothing at Port Key. Celtic finding form. The useless bastards generally thought they were champions already and switched off. Player FC, says Ziggs. Absolutely, Arnie. If we get rid of the dead wood, that is the only way we actually grow from this. And it's out for a Dundee, you know, so Rangers goal kick. It's just not good. It's just another game where we're just letting the game get away from us. 15 minutes to go. Thank you very much, Son. That's a fantastic donation. Thank you so much. That means the absolute world, buddy. It really does. Love the donation there. £10 for beer or something exciting. I mean, thank you very much, buddy. Thank you. Goals conceded 76 plus minutes. Dundee have conceded 20, apparently. It's the most in the, in the SPL. Let's hope they can do that. Totally, Arnie. Yeah, remember, guys, all your live chats go, any of your super chats or super stickers go to help fund the channel. Curry, I think, can if you get some, can I have some too? Beer for Owen, that'd be great, buddy. But I've got work at 6 a.m. in the morning. I've got to get up at like 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock. Ball across the pit. Fuck. Totally unmarked. Dig back in again. Header. Chip back. Karen blocks by him away. Oh, the, Jesus Christ, Rangers. Come on. Blocks coming in there. Good tackle by Lundstrom. Now Dow takes over. Dowell, Seema, Seema, Matondo, Matondo, back across the pitch. Where is it? To, to nobody. Who is that to? Come on. Come on. Gareth, I'll take any bloody goal at this point in the game. Whether it's a 92nd minute goal or a 97th minute goal. Just dire. Dire. Liam, thank you very much. Thank you, Fredo. Thank you, Liam. I'll bring your comment up, but the internet's playing off again. Thank you, Liam. 199. I'll do one better here. Get a Fredo. Thank you very much. I'd probably pay for a Fredo these days. They're very worth off. They're about that big and they cost you about three quid. Thank you, Liam. That's really appreciated. Thank you so much. Guys, here we go. Lunny. Loses it in midfield. Dundee lose it on the right, and it's a throw in to Rangers. Tav goes scuttling across to take it. Is this the night that the title properly gets away from us? Absolutely, Stephen. 100% awful effort. QPR v Preston. That sounds entertaining. Not. Bring back the Taz bars, says Squire. That's a good shout, Squire. Anyway, here's Suter. Tondo loses it. Out it goes. I agree with that. There is no urgency. Suter plays it and it goes into row Z in the stand. This is just useless. It is absolutely useless. Clement looks like he's about to bust a blood vessel on the sidelines. So we're waiting for Celtic to go another nine in a row before we stop them, says Liam. Every chance, mate. Head up. Suter back. It goes to Butland. Four thousand, five thousand four hundred sixty-four subs, guys. Please keep hitting the sub. Long ball down the right-hand side. Tab goes forward. Two, absolutely nobody. Oh, guess who lot that was again with the stupidly overhit ball? Yes, Connor fucking Goldson. Ross McCausland is preparing to come on. And it's Abdallah Seema who's coming off. Why? Why? I would go three at the back. Sterling, Suter, and the other one. Tav. Oh, yeah. Somebody put lunch into a back three and just. Don't bother. I don't know. Easy, easy. Declaration. No new contract for He's a pass back sideways player again. Stephen, you're right. Header by Goldson. Forward. It goes straight to a Dundee player again. Plays it out wide left. Cameron goes flying after the ball. Can't get away from Tav. Tackle by Tav. 
Uh, Dalton has the FIFA mindset of long ball and inshallah. I'm not quite sure what that means. There we go. Our FIFA. I still see us getting a goal, says Squire. I hope so. I'm a num. Oh, Rosie, don't worry. He'll come back in in a minute. 250 watching. Guys, please smash that like. And obviously, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Tell it to me. Header back by Goldson to Butland. You know what? At least I've got my dog. He's cute. My dog's by me at the moment. There we go. Here comes Matondo now. Matondo comes in field. Matondo lays it in field now to Lawrence. Lawrence comes forward. Step over for no reason because there was nobody there. Anyway, it goes back to Sterling on the left-hand side. Sterling. Sterling trying to get back onto his right foot constantly. Goes outside again. Now with a left-footed cross. Deflected off a Dundee player. Surely corner to Rangers. Uh, Aldo says, numb, that was expecting much not the much not the players constantly let us down. They do, 100%. Guys, if we play like this on Sunday against Hearts, we're going to get absolutely smashed. We're going to get absolutely smashed. McCausland should have started, said Ziggs. Rangers corner on the 81st minutes. DMC says, Sky will be delighted they never had to show this dross. But it is on Sky, DMC, buddy. I've had enough off to bed. Thanks for live. No problems, Arnie. All the best, buddy. 81 minutes up on the clock now. It is still nil-nil. McCracken with the ball. Kicks it up the field. Long ball. Header away by Suter. And out for Dundee throwing on the left-hand side. Uh, Stephen Allen says, none of our midfield turned, turned sharp to play a ball forward or a through ball. It's terrible for, my, for professional players. My gran would do better. Said it's mathematically impossible. Time for the kids if we don't win tonight. What's your dog, German Shepherd, Staffordshire Bull Terrier? A heat? Uh, neither. It's a Labrador. It's a Labrador. Dowell lays it off. McCaws and getting after the ball, trying to cause some trouble now with McCowan. Battling away. McCowan still comes away with the ball, though. And again, it goes through, but this time to Suter. Suter gives it back to Butland. Down tools again, like with Gio and Beal, says Pacer. And if it's down tools, Pacer, it just can't get any better. They are. Why do we bother with corners? Good question. Have a poodle and a Bichon, says Paul. Anyway, here we go again. Back, Lundstrom passes it back to Suter. He passes it square to Goldson. Funny spot, funny curry. Ball away. Why did we sell Lammers? Would rather have had Dessas. Dowell out to the left to Matondo now. 82 minutes on the clock. Matondo comes in on his right foot. Shoot, Matondo, shoot. Yeah, just wide by Matondo. Going for another one of those great moves. Such an, I agree, Ziggs. We should have kept uh, Cholak. He was a goal scorer. He would have scored more goals than Dessas. Yeah, we could well have, Joe. If we play like this against them, Philippe Clemon giving it that, giving it that. Philippe Clemon does not look a happy bunny at all. He looks very, very angry. Very angry. 83 minutes, looks at his watch. So the guy looks like Ray Wilkins, I mean, God rest his soul, but there's a guy who looks like Ray Wilkins in the Rangers end. I know it's not Ray Wilkins, but, you know, he looks like him. 254, watching guys, please smash that sub. Ball forward by, ball forward by some Dundee player goes to Butland. Butland safe hands, rolls it out to Connor Goldson. Connor, please don't pass it long. Please, don't, go, yeah, good. Goes out to McCaw, to Tau, no, McCausland. McCausland forward. Dow, Dow checks inside one, waits now. Lays it back to Tav. Tav, oh, fuck's sake, bangs it straight off a Dundee player's ass, And it goes to McCausland. McCausland goes back to Goldson. Goldson don't hit it long. Plays it square to Suter. Suter now, what will he do with this ball? Can he do something? Come on, Suter, bring it on, bring it on, Suter. Sterling into the box. Deep ball headed down by Tav straight into McCracken's hands. No, I can't hear you. I genuinely can't. Eighty-four minutes on the clock, guys. It's whatever time plus it's six minutes plus added time left. 
forward by Dow Matondo on the run. Awful ball forward, just gives it away to Dundee. Back it goes to the keeper. The keeper puts his foot through it, sends it down the park, and Dundee will chase it. Suter gets his head in on it. Ball away now. It's won by Dundee. Dundee on the run. That's Goldson. Oh, a little ball there by Dundee. Through to nobody, thank God. And it's a Rangers goal kick. Here comes Goldson forward now. That's a good shout. <laughs> Five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining. The ladies lost tonight. Oh, my God. Spreading. 251 watching, guys. Please smash the sub. And obviously, if you haven't done so yet, please smash that like, guys. We need to get to 6,000 subs by the season's end. You can help us get there. Especially as 65% of people are not subscribed to the channel. Rosie's coupon has been spoiled. Ranger, uh, Bayern 1, Arsenal 0, Man City 1, Real Madrid 1. I think that goes to extra time, that one. Back again, Dowell. Dow now gets the ball in his leg, gets it out. Back to Lawrence. Foul on McCausland in a dangerous area. Free kick to Rangers. Oh, that's a good shout. Gareth says, I think we need to accept these. We just haven't got it. As I said before, it hurts more because we got, got close to them and never finished the job. Free kick here. Tav is there and someone else is limbering up. Who is it limbering up? I can't see. Can I see his ass? Tom Lawrence. Tom, just go away because he's not going to let you take it. Oh, come on, Rangers, please. You don't deserve to win, but Jesus, come on. Eighty-seven minutes on the clock. Well, eighty-six forty-three, if you're being precise. James Tavernier behind the ball. Can he do anything? He's not happy about something. He's pointing at something. I'm not quite sure what he's pointing at. I don't know. He's happy about something anyway. Anyway, here we go. Come on, Tav. Then see what you can do. Come on, Tav. Up. High, wide, and not even handsome. Fucking awful from Tav, that was. That was genuinely shit, do I Tav? Awful. Awful. That was awful. That was genuinely piss poor. Hope, there's, hope to God there's at least eight minutes of injury time. I don't know why, Curry, because we're not going to fucking do anything with it, are we? Oh, come on, Rangers. Somebody score a goddamn goal. When was the last time we scored? Good question. It's just rubbish. Awful tonight. Again. Here's Lunny. Here's Goldson. Goldson, don't hit it long. Don't hit it long. Don't hit it long. It gives it short. Good. Yeah, enjoyed the hat and us there. Here's Lundstrom. Suter. Here we go. Back to Matondo. Tondo now goes in a little jig inside one, inside two. Shoot! Don't bother. That is miles over by Matondo. That is awful. Genuinely awful. Yeah, Gareth, I think that's about true. We could play for we could play all night and still not fucking score, I think. Eighty-eight minutes now. I mean our form going to this game is piss poor. I mean, there's our form going to this game, guys. It just Shocking. Shocking. Here's McCowan now for Dundee. Pass one. Loses it to Matondo. Brings his man down. Free kick Rangers. We're missing, I think we are missing Gilmaz. I think, honestly, that does not help ha not having a natural balance to the left side of our defence because we can't rely on Barisic anymore because he's, he's checked out. Ball forward now into Lawrence. Lawrence lays it back. Lundstrom 
checks away from one, goes towards the right-hand side of the pitch again. Out he goes to McCausland. McCausland puts his foot on it now, stops, checks back inside, gives it back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom goes back to Goldson. Suter, shit ball, but it gets there to Lawrence. Lawrence back to Lundstrom. Lundstrom back to Goldson. And again, we're going backwards all the time. Yeah, agreed. Ball inside. Oh, off Dessers, loses the ball. McCausland and gets the ball as it breaks. Back into Dessers again, turns. Loses the ball on the heart on the edge of the area, cleared away by Dundee, and Connor Goldson runs after it. Three minutes only of added time. Three minutes of added time only. Only three minutes. Three minutes for Rangers to find a goal. Three minutes for Rangers to save their season. Lundstrom faffs around with it into Lawrence. Dessers loses it again. Dessers, Dowell, breaks back wide, off him by to McCausland now. McCausland comes in field again. McCausland, off a Dundee player. Dowell goes after it, cleared away by Dundee. Free kick to Dundee, inside the Dundee box. Dowell is just beyond... Bayern Munich have knocked Arsenal out of Champions League. At least that's funny. Is there anybody still in the park? Are we? I don't know. Rangers are in danger of going three games in a row without a Premiership victory since 2019. That is mad. Goldson's header forward. 282 people watching, guys. Please smash that like. It's all over, and they don't give a fuck anymore. Tav, Goldson, Dessers, all shit. The players can fuck off this summer, says Paul. This is just dire. Here comes McCowan now. McCowan. Costello shot blocked away by Lawrence. Back to McCowan again. 30 seconds remaining. And Dundee are the team coming forward at the end of this game. Not Rangers. Boateng loses the ball now. Tavernier has to get it forward. Does. Cut out there by Dundee. Dundee thrusting forward now. On the attack of Dundee. Into the box. Cameron shot blocked. And Rangers can break now. Tom Lawrence. Out to... Oh, fuck's sake. And 93 minutes is up. Is that the season up? Game over. It is no longer in our hands. No longer in our hands. No reaction at all. There was no reaction at all. That is piss poor. Let down again. Same old, same old. Same old, same old. Let down. No heart. No fight. No bottle. No spirit. No passion. Clement is talking to Van der Hayden. He's going, they're all fucking shit, mate. They're all fucking jokes. They're absolutely awful. They're shit. Agreed. 
Piss poor from Rangers tonight. Absolutely. League is over. League is over. Can't believe it's three games in a row with no win. Correct, Paul. 100% correct. Philippe Clement looks well. He looks proper pissed off. Van Hay Hayden and Clement look proper fucked off. Proper fucked off. This is just fucking terrible, guys. Absolutely fucking terrible. Rangers fans with hands on their heads. Me too. I feel sorry for the fans now. Fans yelling at the players to fuck off. Fans have had enough. The fans have had enough. They are telling the players to fuck off. Fans shouting, fuck off at Goldson. Goldson, fuck off. Goldson goes over to clap the fans and his fans going, you fuck off. Fuck off, Goldson. Guys, this is awful. 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 Imagine now has earned his money. Now the team's players need sorted out. Players dropped. If not, absolutely. 100%. 100%. Just piss poor tonight. Absolutely piss poor. Just not good enough. Absolute joke, guys. Guys, I'm going to take a uh, break. That's it now, guys. I've got to go. I don't know what else to say. I'm just fucking pissed off now. Spot three points behind them with a with a vast with a five with a goal difference that's five worse off than the those than theirs. We're fucked. There is no title race anymore. All right, guys, I will see you on the other side. Take care, guys. All the very best on what has been a shocking night for Rangers. Just, again, slow, pedestrian, passive, piss poor, not good enough, just absolutely, genuinely dreadful. And I am well and truly pissed off. Just getting rid of some Tims from the chat. Guys, I'll see you soon. Take care. All the best. Don't know what to say.